we've had a uh, we've had problems with the video files uh, have we? recently. Of the, I think what I, I think what I the conclusion I came to is that uh, the recordings are also at the same bit rate that we're streaming at. Oh, are they? And uh, my on on Wi-Fi, my my laptop had trouble watching those videos on YouTube. They they got got all blurry after a second. I think just because the bit rate was so high. Oh. They're fine on Twitch, so I guess Twitch is just better encoding high bit rate videos or something. Hmm. Than YouTube. So I, I I have them all converting right now. I'm I'm gonna re-upload the past few at a lower bit rate to YouTube. Uh, that's that's why the Battle Network video didn't hit YouTube yet. Yeah. Oh. I also uh. Oh, oh. you should probably switch it. Yeah. Oops. Hey, we're doing Yoshi's Island, by the yep. way. I set it to uh, I I down I downscaled us to a 720p again. Which is a shame because we have the technology to stream, you know, good 1080p video. But if we can't reliably get the the downgrade options on Twitch, I don't want people. A lot of people not be able to watch is the thing. Makes sense. Go, go, Mario! All right, we're out of the fucking jungle. Hey, Goombas! They exist in this game. Yeah, and they they look pretty all right actually. Grand Goombas. I think the, uh, so, the Super Princess Peach game had an art style that's sort of like this. I want to play that, just as like a... Could be interesting. I've, I've never played it. Yeah. Just her attempt... Bowser's attempt at, like, going, Hey, listen, we, we always capture the princess, it doesn't work out, so... What if we kidnap Mario to lure the princess? <laughs> and we take him out. And then, and then Princess Peach is like, Oh, are we doing this? Alright, let's do a roll reversal. So, uh, as, I, as, as you uh, viewers are probably uh, well aware, I'm well obsessed with uh, fanfics and yeah. just reading them. And you, I, got, you got a new one for I us? Had an, well, no, I'm just reciting an old idea. The uh, Epic Mario idea. Oh, yeah. It's Mario, except... Uh, it's uh, it's set as like a heroic fantasy. Yeah. With like a warhammer wielding Mario, uh, and like, and like, the, him and Peach and his, and Luigi are like the last humans, and everything else is like a demi-human, like monster, like monster human type thing. Like, uh, Goombas are are essentially like a weird uh, goblin race, and Koopas are just, are lizard-like with uh, shell armor. That kind of thing. It so, sounds like you're describing B Bright, but in the Mushroom Kingdom. Ah, uh, considering that Bright uh, is in like the, is like in a fake modern day and also sucks, I don't think I'm describing Bright. Yeah. Uh, although I can. So just pipes. Oh I don't, shit! Just decorative pipes. Hey Sandy. This guy's accurate as shit. Listen. You could, like, fire eggs instead of having to spit them back. I need you. Yeah? Oh. I got you. You are dead. Is it odd that uh, Mario doesn't have a hammer in Smash Brothers in any capacity? Uh, it's an Does item. It it is an item, yeah. That's true. That's, so, that was probably their original justification. Yeah. Because it wasn't just uh, Mario RPG, Paper Mario. Because, I mean, the hammer was associated with him since Donkey Kong. They have a hammer-like item for if they do, like, Paper Mario. Like, I feel like that could have been his smash attacks or something. Yeah. Jumping is, uh... Ah, fuck! I... Oh, hey, Bills. Bullets. Bills with weird hitboxes. Big Bills. How many does it take? Oh, four. Got you a one-up. Oh, five total. I mean, why not? Ah! Sorry, I'm, you, you, you're taking a lot of hits this up this stream. I'm uh, I'm getting used to the way this game plays. I have to switch from uh, uh from dusk. I thought you were gonna say from Battle Network. <laughs> no, I'm, quick man. 
No, I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Dusk. Uh, I had it and, uh, and I forgot to, like, start playing it because I was watching Zivi just talk about it and, yeah. An Elysian Tale or a different game? No, it's just called du It's, uh, it's a different game. Oh. It's a, it's a first-person shooter inspired by, uh, Quake and, uh, Blood and a bunch of other games. It's pretty good, actually. I've been playing it and it's, uh... It's gotten, it's gotten to, I played it till I died, and, uh, and I actually didn't die for a while, but, it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's really fucking creepy. The, yeah. the, the, the soundtrack is like, anyway, poop is everywhere. The middle one. I hit jump, but it didn't work. I... I... Fucking shit! I don't know what's going on! There's just green things everywhere. Alright. Come on. So, uh, there wasn't... There wasn't an interest when I talked about it with any of our guys on the Discord, but, uh... There was interest expressed on Sandy's Discord, so I went through and set up another Minecraft server. Oh, sweet! So that that's something that we'll, we'll probably be doing soon. Like my, Minecraft returns. Oh fuck! Ready for drugs? Don't do it, Yoshi. You just got clean. <laughs> Let's do it. It doesn't really affect the air movement too much. And air well, movement in so, this game yeah. is a superior movement. Yeah. Speaking of drugs. Just got off watching the Teen Titans episode. Oh, yeah. Ghost Slade. Slade! Drug Ghost Slade. He's real to Robin! <laughs> that was a great reveal, just, uh... <laughs> Which, in turn, reminded me of the Ray Magini Simpsons episode, and we yeah. would then watch that. Which, actually, was the perfect setup to watch, uh... Uh-oh! We're good. Oh, hey. Just wait it out, Yosh. The Joshi emote got rejected. Did it? Wait, that got rejected? The dorf went through. But the, the, cut, the cutout of an actual picture of Ganondorf was fine. <laughs> but a derpy little fake, not really Yoshi drawing, that got cut. Maybe. Was it because it was too shitty looking? <laughs> was that Twitch's logic? Uh -huh. Maybe they thought it looked too much like a dick sucking machine and they're like, nah, we can't have this. I don't know, that's weird. I, 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 I would guess that it was because, oh, it's too low quality. Hold on. People won't pay $10 for a subscription to use this. Okay, don't get hit. Oh, but I... Rewind is disabled. Can you lick the star? No. Okay. The star is metaphysical. <laughs> Let's go! Mario! Country Road! No! Let's go! What the fuck? They're, they're butterflies now! They are, they're, they're butter wigglers. Oh, they still function the same, though. That's good, it'll allow me to get back up here. Oh, okay. Our, yeah, uh, our, be our better Twitch TV and Frank and Franker face emotes are still pending. Oh. What's. The... I like What's how. What's that emote called, by the way? The one with the. Uh... Which one? The, the one, the common Twitch one. The... Kappa? Yeah, Kappa. What's the story behind that one? It's a dude named Kappa, and I guess oh. someone liked a face that he made and they freeze-framed it. That, that's my guess, I don't know. And it's and, that, and ever since then he has become a legend. The face of Troll. Oh, I missed, I missed a whole lot, is, holy shit. Is there more Little Mario we have to go back and do? That was the end of that. It was? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, we must have missed like an important area somewhere then. Yeah, oh well. I like how Twitch is now Ganondorf. Uh, how, how do you mean? Because because I there are like so many Ganondorf Twitch clips. I'm.
I'm not gonna worry too much about 100%ing this at, in the first part. Sandy talked about taking the, uh, the final, the final emote slot. Oh. Oh, hold on, I don't think, the chat box isn't in the right spot. Which one of these vague pipes gets us in? Check them all. Sandy was talking about taking the final emote slot, but I guess it better be a damn good emote for the $25 slot, because Twitch, Twitch ain't having any any crap like Joshi. I guess. Then, it better, then I guess we gotta get it something good. It can't be because they said that's a, that's a Yoshi, that's copyright, they, right? They, they can't... They, that can't be the argument. <laughs> they, I mean, to be fair, they look at it. We look at a Joshi. We go, oh, obviously, that's a Yoshi. It's just a really shitty one. So, I mean, it could be that that uh, that they looked at that, saw that it was Joshi. They're like, they're fucking with us. Do you right? think if I called it Josh, it would have been better? Call, yeah, call it Josh. Just call it Josh and see if that works. I don't know if you can resubmit them or not, or if they'll just, like, reject it immediately. I, I imagine it, it, that, that, considering that it's literally just, uh... It doesn't come with, like, uh, are like... Are gonna do ban you but for something like that? I don't think so. It doesn't come with, like, a reason it was rejected or anything. It's just, no. Maybe you could ask them, like, hey, why was this rejected? This is a... I hear it's a pain to contact Twitch, but I, I don't know. Oh. Well, damn. These lackad- These fucking underground lackadoos, it's weird. This is before they tamed clouds. Twitch does have quality control. What- what's not quality about Joshi? <laughs> Joshi is pure quality. It is the highest echelon of quality. I mean, the point of the emote was that it was badly drawn. That's the point of- that's the purpose of using the emotes. That's I, I can understand for things that are like badly cut emotes or something, or emotes that don't show up on on the right backgrounds, or, or something. just literally a guy just look that looks like he's stroking his dick or something. Yeah, like, that 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 I understand. I didn't submit that. <laughs> that one's for my private collection. <laughs> yeah. Yes, put this in my private collection. Yes, my collection of fine dicks. My. I don't know why I jumped into that. I presume I had a plan. Oh, that was a waterfall. What do you had to say to me? Water jump! I'll bet you didn't know you could do this at World 4 in the game. Did you know you can flutter jump? So, uh, you Everybody couldn't tell which free. ones are red in the original game. No. Which, to use yes, I did, use, I did use, uh, not in the original game, in the Game Boy Advance game. Which, yes, this was a good area to use the magnifying glass. Yeah, the, the game outright told me to, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll oblige. I think in, in, uh, oh man, I remember now. Can you imagine if Yoshi could do this in Smash Brothers? Just that would, in, infinitely retain the same height with good timing. That would that would make him broken, honestly. You think that so? Would it him, wouldn't gain well, height. He, well, it would be kind of like Peach's floating. I feel. I don't know what opinions on Yoshi are right now. Apparently, I didn't, I didn't stop in time. Part of me is hesitant, hesitant to tell you this after what happened with Cloud, but, uh... What? Apparently people are saying Wolf is top tier. <laughs> no, no joke. Damn. Alright, I'm doing Cloud then. <laughs> like, of course he's top tier, he's a space animal! Like... Yeah. It's not Fox though, it's Wolf of all of them. Cause he, cause he hits hard. 
shell. One of those. Yeah, in Koopa world. This is back before the Koopas were, uh... How am I supposed to do this? What if you spit it left onto the stairs? No, it doesn't go up the stairs. Nope. Hmm. They look like they're angled, so it needs to go down the stairs, though. Let me try... Should I guess start it just back here and follow it. No, it, it doesn't move forward if you spit it upwards. Okay. Sorry, bro. You have to get further back so it falls onto the stairs. Oh. There we go. No? <laughs> oh, damn! I mean, that I was the closest! I guess it's just closest. a very specific spot. Oh, okay, that did, that did work. I mean, it You just, needed running momentum. This doesn't matter, considering I probably have to come back. Or go down the pipe. There's a key in here. You got the key. That's a bottomless pit. I see that. Oh. That was a risky play! <laughs> it paid off, though. Alright. I fight Bandit. Throwing balloons! I don't like this one. Why do I gotta do this one? Just sit and wait until it's big. There's no reason to do Just keep going back and forth the whole time. Question. When does when do you think it uh, now you should probably start doing it? You know the buttons on Super NES better than I do. I, I don't remember the X and Y and all that. X and Y mainly are what I ah! Why Damn. was on top, right? I why is the one to the to the left? Okay. X is the one on top. Alright, yeah, see I got it backwards. I mean it didn't help me! I missed out on what could have been a game-changing item. Oh, no. Lactus. Wow, coins are almost done. Just oh! go down! What are you waiting for? I want to find the coins! You're, well, go down on the ground. First game that we see like a Lakitu's entire body. Well, I mean, we kind of do. Oh yeah, I guess we do. Because they don't like fall out of the clouds in uh, previous games. They just poof, vanish, right? They pop. Yeah. They. Oh man. Uh, we need to go over the spikes somehow. I have to go flutter jump. Is that really it? Are you sure? Where are you landing after that flutter jump? Okay. There. Okay. Yeah. There was a place to land. Damn it, this is gonna be rough. Uh... There we go. That works. One more flower. There it is. Shit. Right. Timing! Good, that works! Good enough. <laughs> to fight and kill everything I see, and I don't think that helps me for this. This is why I keep getting hit. Yeah. Oh. Five's great. Those are rare. I mean, I say that. We're down to nine. Takes so long to scratch, too. Yeah. I can't speed up. This isn't GBA. So I got two out of the 
Well, we'll tell me where the other ones are, too. That sucks. You like counting? Yeah, love counting. Uh, uh, uh. Don't look back. Oh no, I'm salt! It's coming. It follows. Jump off of it. The number shown is reduced by one. And then happy little balloons. Cool. <laughs> well, that was pointless. Coins, huh? Alright. I'm waiting for you to fall in that one platform gap. You're gonna fall off these balloons, and that's exactly where you're gonna go through. Nah, now I'm over here. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. The, I'm just gonna do it the easy way then. I mean, what about all the red? Are there any red coins in these? I don't see any. Can I hold down? Wait, what? Oh. They're all over there. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Go. Get it. Oh, yeah. Get I, it. I legitimately didn't see him there. Oh, well. Oh, there's something up there. Up Wait, where's the... That's close. I, I knew where I was landing. Don't... You like that blind shot? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta go left. Balloons! Fuck. I'm not liking this! So their, like, upward movement is timed just so that you can get one flutter jump before landing again. Seems like it. Oh god, that was that was lucky. All right, just wanna be sure. Do you think Mario, baby Mario, like backseat platforms? Mario's a platforming prod. Mario's a platforming prodigy, even from the early age. Yeah. I You're figured, just telling Yoshi what to do this whole game. I figured that the reason why Mario's such a good platformer is because, uh, he had used- he had- went, went on this adventure and the Yoshis taught him. Yeah. Can you imagine the Yoshis, like, looking the way they are and acting the way they are, except they also, uh, like, hold on. I just saw that. Come on! Thank you. You're a star now. All right, I'm done here. Oh no, we didn't get the thing that we didn't need to get. That was a very off-key trumpet. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Fucking shit! That was surprising! Hmm, why do these have two chances? <laughs> Can I make it to that one from here? To the top? Probably, yeah. Nope. Nope, can't eat those. That's uneatable fire. I don't think they're even eggable fire. Oh no, we didn't. We had the eggs were just hiding. Ah! <laughs> it always surprises me when I see them. Those fuckers are the worst uh, thing in this game. It's, they are it's the once appears and then permanently gone red coin shy guys. Yeah, they they uh, they ought to have like a like a boss uh, like thing to them. Just 
Red coin shy guys! I wonder if they ever have a, a giant shy guy boss in a Yoshi game. Uh... Because they haven't in any of the ones I've played or seen. But I haven't seen the, uh... Oh, that's oh, one! What? You! You son of a whore! He's gone. There goes our 100%. I, I think I can I think I can get it this time. It's, uh, this level seems pretty linear. You uh you're not allowed to make derivatives of emotes on Twitch. What? That's what Yoshi's an emote? Except except Kappa. So you can like just take Kappa and put him in a Santa hat, and that's okay. That'll get approved. There are like two official Twitch emotes that I guess they consider so iconic that they allow spin-offs. <laughs> oh man, I love narcissism. Can I actually... You could have if you hit the shot with an egg, yes. Well, there... Well, that's my genius plan. That's okay, we don't need lives. Fuck lives. Oh, it did, did it go in the hole. I have to admit, that was a pretty clever plan. Yeah? You gotta preempt it. Yeah. It's fine, I got plenty of lives. But... Camera! What are other games we... We, we, we have enough games we're in the middle of now, but... Next things we could start. Oh, oh, that one's back. What? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one! Shit! Got Sly Three and Ratchet. Yeah, I want to start Ratchet actually. Like yeah. I've been, I've been chomping at the bit to get to that. I'll start that after uh, this game, maybe. It's fine. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Got plenty of lives. Don't flutter. Just regular jump to it and jump off quick again. I gotta use the flutter. It's there. The flutter only tricks you into it thinking it's safer. So the red coin guy is gonna be up here. Where's he at? There he is. I have to remember that. That's I good. thought once you got a red coin, it like saved. No, because because it's, uh, it's not because I keep dying. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? This game's trying to kill me. That was that was like uh, that shouldn't have happened. That was like a Kaizo series of events. Yeah. Taking any chances. Well, he's over there. Damn it! Can you go up for him fast enough? No, no, he's fucked off. <sighs> this level's gonna be the whole stream, isn't it? I'm not gonna. I already. I. I mean. <sighs> well, you can keep going for it if you want to. Well, you're reappearing now that I'm up here. No, he's not going to. Yeah, I'm going for it. Hold on. God damn it, that's a that's a tough series of events. Like maybe so we can snipe the plant from really far away. Come on. Oh, it's off screen. Okay. Smash. <laughs> That's just a Yoshi echo. It could be. It'd be a, 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 a kind of strange Yoshi echo, but... I feel like just the way it mo it uses eggs is different enough that... I feel like it would be closer to, like, Villager and Isabelle. Like, there would be a lot of derivative moves, but... Yeah. Is a 20 star? Yeah, it can. Or why not just do it at the end of the level when you know you're not gonna get hit again? I'm not- no, I didn't use it. Oh, okay. I'm saying I will. Yeah. That's... Sorry, I didn't make it clear. Shoot at me some more! I'm eating your young. Yo, 
Yoshis are the world's greatest snipers. Okay. I'm not risking it. Birdo's neutral B. It would like uh, suck a, an opponent in and then spit them out in front of it as an egg. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd be down for that. But yeah, she's side B. He rolls in an egg. Uh, Birdo, Birdo. Birdo doesn't really turn into eggs. Birdo spits fire if you do the side B. That's true. That, yeah, that, that could work. Oh, man. Up B, Yoshi has an egg throw. God, would Birdo have a proper recovery? Birdo doesn't really... That, that's the thing. Birdo doesn't really do much except spit eggs, and that's pretty much it. But then again, Piranha Plant didn't really do much either, and uh, that became an actual thing. Uh, I, think there, I think there are games where Birdo can, like, uh, suck stuff up. Doesn't look like red coins, do they? I don't know. I really don't want to... Try to bank your egg, I guess, or do you have an item that can give you more eggs? Good shot. <laughs> they, 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 thank you for the thank you for that. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. They're not. I don't think they're actual coins. Yeah. They don't look it, but oh shit. Oh s sweet. Ah! I didn't want to. Mm. I was hoping it would run down. Oh well. Would run down the timer so I could restart. You know what? Fine. But if you restart, won't you start with ten? No, stars? guys. No, you start with whatever stars you hit the checkpoint with. Oh. That's a good noise. I feel like that noise was different on the on the advance. Maybe it had a better balloon noise. Red's up there. Can I just go back up? No? Damn it. I would guess You got not. one shot at this! You missed your shot, you fucked, kid! Maybe you can go down and then back left again? Nope! Excuse Game me. says no. For some reason, there are ghost balloons here. So, how's your how's your job going? Yeah, it's going okay. Yeah. Got yeah. a got an ADR class later tonight. Oh yeah, you do. It's gonna be a long night. Three D. Claymation. All right, I totally botched that one up. Let's try that again. Where'd my eggs go? Oh, I didn't have any. Okay, that's that's right. I forgot they dropped down. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, they're just tourists. They just float overhead. They're here for the view. How did how did uh, Kamek get the support of the shy guys? They've been they're usually isol isolationist. Yeah. Well, they worked for Wart in that one game, and then this was the next time they appeared, actually. They just- they decided to repurpose them as Yoshi enemies. Oh, okay. Once you- I was worried about popping it, that's why I didn't- No, that uh, doesn't happen. We, we don't have another magnifying glass, do we? No. Ah! Fuck! I hate you! You can shoot the coins. They're right next to a whole bar. Oh, it's just a one-up? Oh, but it keeps going. Oh, I fucked up. There's a secret exit up there. I mean, it's not like that leads to a different level. Hopefully there aren't those last five coins up there. That'd be pretty lame, game. Game, you're lame. Get a 
what stars, I guess, probably. Might as well. Oh, wait, I already have max. Uh, do we ever we supposed to pop that with an egg, right? I think we can. I don't think I've ever gotten one of those one-up balloons. I think they're just enemies. secret area was the five last red coins. That was a, well, that was a whole waste of lives. One shot. Fuck you, game! Give me a fucking bonus! <laughs> On the bright side, it could also not be up there. You know what Yoshi's story doesn't have is uh, a bunch of shit to collect in a level. <laughs> well, that's just an improvement, isn't it? I mean, kind of, kind of has that. It has one thing that to collect that affects the ending. I think there's like flowers. Is that uh, the only thing? I think that's the only thing. You don't have to do a level per perfectly. How it works is that in order to complete a level in Yoshi's story, you need to get 30 fruit. And once you get your 30th fruit, you're, you finish the level. You exit immediately. Oh. You are. He just he just wants fruit? Yes, he just is just hungry Yoshis. That's the plot of the game is just... I Ow. Damn. Yes, that's the plot of the... More or less. But uh, I think there's like three flowers you can collect in every level and depending on how many you get that's how many levels will be available to you in the next world oh wow so there are uh, there are so you only have to do one level per world <laughs> oh that's boring i keep i keep flutter jumping at the wrong time I hold it down at, like, this is the precisely wrong time. It's a game in length that's comparable to, like, Luigi's Mansion. It's a very short game, is Yoshi's Story. Oh, okay. But in order to get the fourth level in each world, you have to get all the, all the flowers on each level. And I've, I've, never, I've never completed the game, just because, by its nature, it requires you to go back and replay the game a, a few times. Yeah, and enjoy the trippy fucking visuals. Come on. Fuck off! You deserve it! <laughs> Mario was unfazed during all of that. Can you imagine if there were animations? You can see Mario flipping the fuck out. Ah, doggy! As he's, as he's facing the chomp while Yoshi runs away. Well, you know, chain chomps are bigger to kids than they are to adults. Oh, this castle. You know four this paths, castle. four keys. Oh yeah, I remember this castle. This castle sucks. Actually, no. It's... I don't think there are any real troubling branching paths during this entire fucking thing. Fuck! It... It's tricky! You'd have to really try to make Birdo a, uh, a Yoshi Echo, I think. Yeah. She has some simil similar pop potential, but at the same time, she's got a lot of things that are, like, very different about the way she, like, moves and stuff. It's targeting me. Oh, okay. It's a cactus spit. A two plant. Whatever they're called. Oh, yeah. It, these are the ones that don't, like, die. They just... No. Oh, this is... This is gonna be rough. Oh, apparently Dragon Ball is back in memes again. Oh, is it? What happened uh, this time? The Captain Marvel movie. Oh, yeah, I remember that movie. Oh, you saw it? No, I didn't see it. I just, I, I remember that, that the movie was coming out. Apparently there's a, there's a scene in which she, like, uh, her hair stands up and she glows golden. <laughs> Oh, Ultra Instinct Captain Marvel. Combined with the fact that the scrolls all look like Namek's. <laughs> so now we're just calling it the live-action Dragon Ball Z movie. With the, the Super Saiyan and Namekians. The best one.
Now, here's, here's a question. Is Goku a unisex name? I guess? I don't know. I, d I don't know any other Gokus besides the one. Yeah, only the that, the Journey to the West character. I don't, I don't know if I've uh, I've mentioned this. You, you know what's funny is that uh, well, first off, they're uh, they're doing a new version or a remake of Fruits Basket or something. Oh, are they? Fruits Basket 2019 is happening. Okay, sure. And uh, the main character in that show, who is who is voiced by uh, Laura Bailey, the adorable little Keiko voice, uh -huh. and the kid Dende, is named Toru. Toru. So same as the giant, buff, manly dude from Jackie Chan. It's just this little cute high school girl. It's just, you see this big dude, and you see this, uh, this little girl, and, you, and it's like, I'm Toru, this is Toru, no relation. Now do a voice swap. <laughs> no! This one says it's got a lot of spikes and spikes. Oh, it's got bullets. Go. Bullet bills and breakable. Welcome to Breakout. Yoshi edition. You like bouncing? We like bouncing. Oh, and the sniffets are back. Yeah, yeah they just repurposed all of the Mario 2 enemies as Yoshi enemies for this game. Sure. Or a bunch of them, rather. We don't see Phantos or anything. It's probably for the best. Phantos sucked. In, uh... Goku means rice, says Sandy. Oh. Oh, so the secret they named, uh... Is, is that why his, is that why the villain was Pilaf? <laughs> oh, you didn't... Okay, dang it. I know they're puns on vegetable names. That's... Kakarot, carrot. Wait, Goku made right, rice this entire time? But rice isn't a vegetable. They're, considering that, uh... You think if, uh... Oh, man. Just, just Goku just being Kakarot and, uh... And throughout it, not Goku. And... But then it started off as like a Journey to the West parody. It did. And it kind of morphed to do into, hey, what if martial arts but too much? Wait, hold on. Why is that breakable up there? Yeah, Dragon Ball changed heavily over the course of its life. Yeah, Dragon Ball started off as like a quirky kind of like uh, martial arts uh, parody kind of manga. I'd say it was close in terms of, like, I keep missing that shit. Yeah, yes, we are all familiar with the, the Saiyan vegetable pun, Sandy. Yes. Part of a balanced diet of ass-kicking martial artists. Nappa is a uh, type of cabbage. I always assumed that was his yeah. name, Sick. Nap Nappa Valley. Nappa Cal Cabbage, yeah. And then we get Cabba later, who is proper cabbage. Or Kaba, rather. There's Cauliflaw. Kale. Uh, what was it? Not... But, what's Bardock named after? Bardock? No. That's, uh... There's some vegetable related broccoli? to Bardock. But, no, Broly's broccoli. Uh, uh bar Turles. I guess turnip? There's uh, Onyo was the, was the fat saiyan from Neko Majin Z. Oh, Vegeta's man. brother Tarbles. They referenced him in Super, didn't they? No! I don't... Maybe? Didn't they very very briefly mention, like, Vegeta, what about your brother? No, he's off somewhere. When they needed, like, four Saiyans for oh, the yeah, Saiyan God they, thing? I guess they did. <laughs> the only hey, Vegeta, appeared... you have a brother! You have a brother?! I don't like to talk about him. He appeared in, like, what, Yo, Son Goku and his friends returns. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. He's talking, like, hey, I got a wife now. And it's this... It, uh, Some series, like, OVA or something that... I don't know that we ever got in America. Oh, no! I remember this level! You gotta start all over if you die. I think if you get two keys, you can go through to a, to a checkpoint ring. Maybe. There's a checkpoint... Point Did you? You already got it. Yeah. Gotta do all four. 
We'll start this one. I feel like the breaking blocks one is the one that will take the longest. Or the biggest time sink. So I guess we should save that for last. I I'm, guess. Not I'm not gonna aim for 100% here. I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Speed run. So these guys can't be eaten, right? They can. Spiny helmet fuckers. Oh, they can. They can. What am I doing? Too easy, young Yosh. You only need one key for a checkpoint ring, says Trog, but that's the one we already went through and got. We, if we got it, it would have... Wait a minute. A burdock. That's right. I knew Gohan meant rice. That, that Yeah, that's what he was thinking of. So, so Goku is still just this random journey to the west motherfucker. Toriyama's like, you know, if his name were a little bit different, it could be a pun for rice. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna make his son a pun for rice. Well, it was the grandpa first. It was Grandpa Gohan. That's okay. No one watched Dragon Ball. This is a shame. I actually really like Dragon Ball. At, at, at times... Oh, speaking of Dragon Ball, I, there's this uh, wrestler, right? Yeah. Name of uh, Kota Ibushi. Uh huh. And the reason why he got into uh, pro wrestling. That was, so, that was too close. The reason why he got into pro wrestling is because he. Why couldn't I jump? I was hitting the jump button. Just nope, you're not gonna let me jump. Oh, Trog says we didn't go through the ring yet. So we should probably go through it after two doors. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. I think I can do this one pretty easily. It's so why, why did Koto Ibushi get into wrestling? Because he thought it was the real Dragon Ball. Yeah. He's like, this is like Dragon Ball, except real! He that... said Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, so I assumed that Dragon Ball was just crazy enough for him. Dragon Ball had more, classic had more tournament arcs. Z had, like, one that didn't get interrupted, right? Or did they all get interrupted? Uh... I don't think there was any at all no, until see, uh, uh, not nothing except for filler. There was Ma there was the Majin Buu tournament that got interrupted, and then there was the end of the series tournament that got interrupted. Yeah, they interrupted all the tournaments. Lame. Tournament arcs are the best arcs in anime. Fight me. Tournament arcs are cool when you do them right, like. Like, I said this in a previous stream. I think my perfect uh, campaign for a Smash game would be a tournament arc. Of just, like, that's how Brawl Subspace Emissary started. Was them all gathered for a fighting tournament. I want to see that, but fl but fleshed out more, like the Dark Tournament Yu Yu show, with like underhanded shit going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Bowser, he's like got a manager that they're trying to cheat together or something. <laughs> That's why the Dark Tournament arc was so good, because it wasn't just people fighting. There was like these shady, there were like back dealing. Yeah, they, they. That would be great for Smash Brothers, a tournament but with politics. What would you say? Don't would be don't the... go through the ring yet. I know. Another room. I know. What would you say would be the finest uh, tournament arc in anime? Dark tournament. Yeah, that's what no I think. No question. Uh, Dragon Ball had good ones. Worst handled completed tournament. Was Sonic X completed? Did that end? <laughs> Wasn't that interrupted <laughs> that when, was... when, like, Emerald went crazy? That's how that happened, right? Yeah, I'm not confident I can beat that lower right one. This is the instant death room with spikes everywhere. I guess I'll go with the one I beat. Breakout room. Breakout room. What other animes had tournament arcs? Sonic X had a very, like, kind of forced one. Uh, Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, the Pokemon League counts, I did, guess. Wait a minute, didn't that one weird, uh, like, wizard manga have a tournament arc? And I know I'm not talking about Fairy Tail. Soul Eater? Uh, Negima, I think it was called. I don't know. I, the I don't know was, like, there was a that. sky... And it turned out he was a teacher, despite being really young, and... I think so. Maho Nejima-sensei. Yes. What if, uh, what if Sailor Moon had a tournament arc? That'd be <laughs> weird. What the, you, they're, you have to have fighters that have a tournament arc! They're not fighters, they're just, like, really specific They're finished skills. spammers. Yeah. That, that would require, uh, that, that show to have fight scenes. Yeah. 
Well, like, and not not like the like actual fight scenes. We don't have the budget for that. They they're slave driving us to do like forty six episodes a, a year. Fucking dumb. Just we gotta reuse shots every week. Was there a problem there was for a Shonen? Thing that appeared back there. There wasn't a problem for Shonen animators. Oh hey. Well, they don't. I missed. Generally, I don't think Shonen ke ke had that many episodes in a season. Like, Dragon Ball Z was a lot lighter on episodes per season than Sailor Moon, I think. And even then, Dragon Ball Z did a lot of filler to lessen the workload. Yeah. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho did air once a week in Japan, which amazes me with the quality of that show. Well, Granted, a lot of why I enjoy it is the dub, so that's kind of kind of the work there. But yeah, Yu Hakusho didn't even get a break between. Uh, it didn't air in seasons like uh, most anime. It was just every single week in Japan for 112 weeks until it ended. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn! And it, it, it is regarded... Uh, open the door before you go through the... You already went through the ring? No, you didn't. Okay. I didn't. Open Unlock the door, because otherwise you might lose the key. We'll find out. The Dragon Ball filler is gross. Eh. I've seen worse. What? It, it's worse. It, it, Dragon Ball about filler. The, the rabbit in the moon. Thing? He's talking about the Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Pilaf? It's added. No, or not Pilaf, Pilaf, Pilaf Junior. Sorry. Uh, there was a lot of filler early on. That oh, was, it's that gross was when it was, That was when it was its worst. Was uh, you know, Goku on Snake Way. I think Princess Snake was filler. Yeah. <laughs> Gohan meets his robot friend. <laughs> Switch me into standby mode! Piccolo fights giant monkey Gohan. I don't think that was canon. Did I do this one yet? I don't know. Which ones did I do? I don't think you did Lava or Needles, right? No, I didn't or do you didn't Needles do Breakout. Or... I didn't do Breakout and uh, I didn't do this one. Okay. Or no, I didn't do Needles or Breakout. Cell Tournament has a lot of filler in the 10 days before it. That was a... If you want to try to fit the movies into canon, which don't, by the way, you can't, the then you, you could, like, fit the events of three movies into those ten days. Because that's the only place they could conceivably <laughs> fit. Just... Cell's like, just like... Hey, Cell's patient as fuck. Didn't they posit that in one of the movies? I think it was the Broly one. Like, hey, we got... We're ten days before the Cell tournament. Let's go visit Namek. Or no, that was the Cooler Revenge movie. Uh, yeah, no, Cooler... I thought Cooler happened before that, but... The cooler cooler Revenge, was after, like, Frieza, but before... But the the second Cooler movie. Where yeah. Where they just say, hey, let's go visit Namek because I don't know. There was a... You're, you know the Game Boy Advance game series Leg Legacy of Goku, right? Yeah, that was, that was a dumb idea. Uh, you're, yeah. Uh, and two, uh, 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 Gohan is saving all these people... And you see Metal Cooler, and he's like, "I've come to have, to, I've come to duel your dad. Tell him that I'm, wa I'll be waiting on Namek." And you're like, "What the fuck is this all about?" And I don't think they mention it throughout the rest of the game. Yeah. So Metal Cooler was like robot. Could could they in theory? Could that he have been like he sent one hurtling through space towards Earth to do that? <laughs> he wouldn't need to breathe, yeah, sure. right? I, I, I can I can buy that, but he looked like he was in his monster form. This is before huh. I saw that. Metal like, oh. monster cooler? That never existed in the movies. Yeah. I I don't know. The, the games were dumb. But and before we get golden cool, cooler. I, 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 I was thinking about playing them, but then I realized the combat in that game is pretty awful. Yeah. Like... Instead of tournament, we watched two Earth, Earth Warriors get their nads kicked. I think, what? was it, uh, Sky Dragon? Is that, that the filler arc he's talking about? Sky Dragon? Didn't they go to, like, uh, like, Gohan goes to a village and there's, like, these two competing martial artists or something? Oh, yeah! Uh, what? Was that a thing, or was that original Dragon Ball? That was and original And then there was Dragon the one Ball. where there was the shelter they were building. A girl named Lime. Lime. Oh, yeah. And that's when, uh... <laughs> That's when, uh, fucking, uh... Poor Sandy, we're do He finally watched Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball, and we're talking about the filler, the episodes he didn't watch. <laughs> I'm talking about the Satan guy. 
Well, yeah. Oh. He, no, he's not filler. He's not fil he had, well, he had filler in the sense that they, you know, had him fight self or the it's the pacing issue. They wanted to pat it out so they had like him not fight them. That wasn't the manga. It See, wasn't the manga. It was just much shorter than the manga. So that's a, 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 a oh. kind of filler. I'll, I'll give him that. That's pacing filler. We that, need to pad that, this scene let's out. Let's drag this out for 20 goddamn minutes. He showed up and wasted a whole episode. That's Dragon Ball Z. It's Wait, fire! Wasted? That's the best episode in the tournament. Fuck you. Dude, Hercule, Hercule beats Cell. Spoilers. Let me, let me tell you something about Hercule. He gets better throughout this year. Give him time. Because he ends up being one of the one of the funniest characters on the show. Trog, just cheer bits. Oh, thank you, Trog. Thank you. I, I don't know what those do, but that they're worth something. Thank you. You can set, like, a thing where it's, like, every time uh, somebody cheers us uh, bits or something, we can, uh... Yeah, I don't think I had, uh... I think I had, uh, like, cheers and, some, and uh, cash subscribers off on uh, Streamlabs because we didn't have access to them. I need to, like, set those up for things. Keep yeah. going. All right. Yeah. He's taking care of some business. I'm going to keep playing. Uh-oh. I don't like this. What's down there? Is that a bottomless pit? No, it's not! I knew it! No question. Did I get everything? Yeah, I got everything from this room. Alright! Move it on. All right, then. Uh, Who's in charge of this place? What? Is it plant? We already fought plant. Oh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's like one of those... Oh, it's the squishy thing, right? Yes. The things that explode if you step on them. Final one. Speaking of, uh, Mr. Satan and joke characters, uh, apparently... Apparently Panda Man is playable in some of the One Piece games. Oh, is he? And he's got, like, a, a super macho pro wrestler gimmick. <laughs> That's cool. Like, he uses a bunch of suplexes and shit and, and talks in, like, a Hercule voice. Of course he of course he uses it. Like, Oda... Uh, I don't know if Oda's a big pro wrestling fan. Oh, no, he is because he, he had... Because be. he had Minoru Suzuki in, uh, in, in, like, one of those episodes. He did. Minoru Suzuki him yeah. actually appeared in One Piece in animated form. Which is funny because, uh... Because the guy like that lo really loves the One Piece, right? And he plays a character the... who's just who's just utterly terrifying. Who, what? Uh, oh, in, Suzuki. in the ring. Yeah, and in the ring... Like, so he's not he's not the one who like came out wearing one piece paraphernalia. He he did. Oh yeah. Oh no, it was him and also ACH is wearing uh, what like a one piece uh logo thing, but he was oh, also yes. wearing uh, Naruto stuff, so he's just a general weeb or like anime lover or yeah. whatever you want to call him. I, can they just can't die to eggs? You got to step on them, I guess. Come at me, bro. Oh. You took the high road. Bandit for smash. <laughs> Bandits with Kevlar. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Do those eggs respawn? Uh, yep. there's, if you go back to the very start, there was that egg spawner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hitboxes, man! Oh, alright. What? Thank you! Sniff it. Remember when they were 
are just all in Booster's Tower. Oh, yeah? Pulling curtains and shit? Yeah. I don't know why they decided to serve Booster, but, you know. Maybe Shy Guys are the PMC of the of the Mario universe. The, the, they're mercenaries. They're just for hire. Yeah. Like, like that's what I was thinking. Is just because you don't really see them serve any one faction. They they're just... always working for someone new. Weren't they not even in their original game? Like, I mean, they were working they... for Warp then. Well, but but remember dream. Super Mario. Two it wasn't originally Super Mario Two. It was Super. Mar it was some Doki Do Doki Panic. Yeah. And Doki Doki Panic was like. But then they they were brought they were brought into the Mario family after that. They were like, oh, we're not working for these losers. <laughs> Fucking, I'm an idiot. Ah! Damn it! Ah! I thought I could jump low enough. I guess I couldn't. Ah! So Trog had the bits leader tag, and then it left. I guess. I still has. It. I guess it just doesn't appear in front of every message now. Oh, do you have to buy bits in order to? Uh... I think that's how it works. Is that you, you pay Twitch to buy so many bits, and then you can give an amount to streamers. And what do bits do for us? I don't know. We gotta look it up. Oh, shit. We gotta do this again. Oh, but I'm at, oh, I- Oh, wait, I, think I have to go back to the other one as well. Shit. I think the idea is that it's just another way to make stuff happen on stream. Like, other streamers have it so that something pops up when people submit bits or something. Can't fault that. Get with another, uh... Way for viewers to interact. Yeah, it, I, I do think it gets to be intrusive if it happens too much, but. Let's go on, bro. Keep him locked in there. Oh shit, I set him free! It's okay, his AI is terrible. Oh. Each bit is a penny in revenue. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Remember when they Wait. were talking about discontinuing the penny? <laughs> no one uses them. Wait, hold on. Th in that case... What? But then you can also subscribe. Yeah? Well, you, they, they give you more ways to make money, Jack. <laughs> For the streamer, not for Twitch. Twitch oh. isn't it making all this money. Now my question is, how much does it cost to buy a bit? It probably is, do you think it's more than a penny? Yes. I can guarantee. I, Maybe I, I, it costs a penny per, and not exactly that amount goes to that. Not that full amount goes to the streamer. It gets split up. Okay. That that would be my guess. It is an uneducated guess. We could probably look all of this up. Yeah. <laughs> could. One of us could. Alright, let's try this again. Guess we can just destroy all this to be safe. I keep thinking I remember one of these levels had like something hidden in these in these fucking needles. Yeah. I don't think it's this one. I, I think I know which one you're talking about, but uh as long as we have the eggs supply. As long as we have bullets to eat. Fucking. What was the series that had a dude that, like, ate. What, that was Bleach. Had a dude that like ate swords in the ninja get the Godfrey Ho arc. Oh yeah, remember that? Did, I think so. There was a dude who ate swords to gain power or something. Oh shit! Come on. What's up here? I was thinking, what about that in a video game? Just a, a sword eater. As a mechanic, you're like a dude who can like just like eat everything that's thrown at you. Kirby. 
more in the line of specifically weapons. Oh, so like, like a guy's coming at you with a sword, and you 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 and your giant Wario teeth can just with proper timing just bite his sword and eat it. Oh man, and then and then you become like a sword man or something. Your sure. body just becomes made of swords. You're still thinking Kirby. Or <laughs> just oh. So <laughs> Uh, you, you just eat it, and you get some kind of power-up, a, a vague description. Oh, can you also eat, like, people? Maybe. And then to gain, like, stat-ups? Or just bullets? You can eat bullets. There's quick-time events, so if someone starts a bullet spray, press triangle to open your gullet. Don't waste your- okay. That one remaining needle is gonna kill us. I'm waiting for it. Well, you know something, Mr. Negative Nancy? You know something? You, you, you know something? What? Uh, how about how about this? Now you need more egg. Oh no, wherever am I gonna get another egg? This castle sucks. <laughs> this castle is... is, is I, I mean, I appreciate the effort into the design, but I feel like somebody didn't think something through. Yeah. It's like when that dude on 4chan posted that, that uh, started that thread, where it's like, post the exact opposite of the of the next of the above posters picture yeah and it was just two pictures cycled over and over that would yeah that would make sense and then somebody at the very end was like someone didn't think something through here taught me a, a valuable lesson uh, this is the last one uh, I, no it isn't you have to do the, the spiky helmet guys right yeah hold on i get this key over you can't save your key. What does it matter? I just have the extra egg slot. Yes. This, this level, this uh, world is pretty long. It, or it feels long. Yeah. We uh we we did the first two in one stream, and then it really hit it. Really hit a, a spike. Difficulty spike. Of the amount of time commitment required to complete these levels. Yeah, the, uh, the first levels are, like, really easy, and then first the game... two worlds. Uh, that's why I said early on in this, this game gets hard. Yeah. Like, the first two worlds get, are easy, and then world three hits, you're in the jungle, you're fighting a bunch of the gorilla monkeys. And then... It's just... It's rough. Okay, uh, the main threat is the pit of needles. Over there? Or to oh, the yeah, right it's over beneath here. you. Yeah, you're right. I'm try uh, just not going down there. Here's what I'll do. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, that was that. close! I think it'll hit the walls too much and kill itself before it hits the flower. Never mind, you're right. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Alright, and now... Nope. Given the truck, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to hit the coin. There's a coin? Yeah. Oh. See? Given the choice, would you have preferred Shy Guy for Smash over Piranha Plant? Uh, you know, Piranha Plant was a good choice. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I didn't prefer Piranha Plant. I, I don't know what Shy Guy could do. That's a good point. Don't talk about points, please. Fuck! You survived. <laughs> Fancy tech. Uh, I don't. You need a minute. You all right? Okay, give me a moment. Fuck. Get the same kind of attention playing this game as I did playing Dusk. Yeah. <laughs> and that game was supposed to be scary. Well, 
Why'd I do that? Why? Runs out of noise after a little while. Oh no, that was the moving platform noise. Yeah. Oh fuck me. Ah. There's one more coin somewhere. It's probably one of the ones floating above that door or that final room. I don't know where it is. What's in here? No, I'm wrong. That's lava below you. No, it's not. It's a, oh, you're we're right. Never mind. I don't know. I'm scared. Well, lava was in the lava room. Wait. If, uh, oh, is here. It in the right door. I think this is the one. The one. Look, no, look, look no, 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 no. There's nothing down there. You sure about that? Yes. They would not have you destroy that many needles. I'm, I'm positive. Oh! If you hit him, he... You reveal his onion head. Don't just go up in the other door we haven't gone in yet. The top There's right something there down here! There is absolutely nothing down Slade there. Slade is here! Slade is here! He's gonna kill us all! He's real to Jack. <laughs> He's hurting himself. Okay, it's not up there then. Up here is the next leads us back to the main room. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, fine. We got the key, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we got our we got what we came for. Came for. <laughs> Come on. Sick of this music yet? Just hit them with eggs. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no way am I testing that theory. Hey! Alright. Let's fucking end this! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Save state. Is that... <laughs> I didn't even ask for it. Marching milled. Oh, mild. Good. Marching mild. Mildew? Oh, he's too fat to egg. You like asteroids? I remember this boss being annoying because it's just a lot of chances to get hit by these little fuckers. Yeah. Like, like that. that. <laughs> don't don't abuse this. <laughs> Electronic smoke. Don't breathe this. I think I think it's only a risk if you hit him up against the wall. Yeah. Alternatively, I could just go for the big ones, get to the small ones, and just pick them off with my eggs. Or just eat them. Well, go for the small ones as soon as they appear to minimize the total number of enemies on the field. I would say. How do these things hurt you? They're fat. They're just little knockoff Kirby's. They just have like corrosive skin or something. Uh, and watch the stars come out of his ass! That's a dignified pose. <laughs> That's dignified. <laughs> just. The nap That's dead. revenge for when we came out of the. out of the frog's ass. Oh, you're thinking of Raccoon. Yeah, the Raccoon. Did he dead. at least die in a dignified position? <laughs> no! <laughs> Hundred, never have to go back. Yep. 
I guess that would be the boss to have the castle with splitting paths, wouldn't it? Yeah. Tom Rock Zone. As a... Where's Sonic? Yeah, yeah, I know what a Chomp Rock is. You fools. It's a rock, Luigi. You didn't invent football. That's Mama Luigi to you. <laughs> That's just the only line you know. <laughs> Every time... <laughs> That's the only time. That's the only thing Luigi knows is that. What else did he say in that show? Like he did most of the talking, cause uh, in in the Super Show anyway, cause that was the one with uh, with uh, Captain Lou Albano. You drugs go to hell before you die. Who was not a great actor apparently. No. So they had Luigi do most of the exposition. It's a pro wrestler. Pro wrestlers uh, are for good for physical acting. You don't do like. Was he not a? Hmm. Well, who's well a there were there were two there were two Mario cartoons and voice cast. There was the Super Show, and then there was uh, Mario Three and World had different casts. Yeah, that makes sense. And I I always get them confused because they both had the same terrible animation. I would say the CDI animation's worse. Yeah. That's gonna despawn, I think. It's already gone. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I... I said I think. Alright, let's continue. There's something up there you think you missed. Don't. That'll extend the bridge. It will, yes. So is, is that what no, we, we want? Need to... Okay, yeah, you're right. I was thinking, I was thinking we needed to get the rock in the hole, and the bridge would cover it and prevent access to the hole. But no, you're, you're right. That doesn't happen. I used to watch Mario World on Channel Seven. I I missed Mario cartoons on TV. I actually I don't think I saw. I don't think I even saw any Sonic cartoons on TV, except for Sonic X. Uh, yeah, Sonic X. I, I remember there being a Sonic cartoon, the... Adventures? Well, yeah, the, the... Sonic says... Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which I had, like, two episodes on VHS, but I never saw it air on TV. Oh, this guy... Okay, there we go. Then we hit loose. So I think that was just slightly before my time. Sandy's, uh, Sandy's a little bit old. Sandy's your age. Jack is, like, two and a half years older than me. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Which is surprising, considering that, that, uh... Zorok's the responsible one. I'm the foolish one. I also watched The Adventures of Sonic, which is my favorite. Your favorite between, like, that and the Mario cartoons? That was a what distraction. Was... Okay. What was the storyline with uh, with Luigi wanting to be Mama Luigi? What was I that? Think he, that was he adopted from... a Yoshi or something? I think there was an episode where he took care of a Yoshi, yes. And the episode was called Mama Luigi. Yeah, of course it was. Honor, I, wonder... I, did, I never saw that episode. I think that's what happened, though. I wonder what Miyamoto thought about... Uh... He liked that. the live action movie. He liked the live action. <laughs> gave it a gave it a thumbs up. That's it, still like my favorite. I gotta tell uh, some some movie reviewers about that. Like, hey, Nintendo liked it. Well, Miyamoto did anyway. Miyamoto liked it. He he liked that they that they experimented with the Mario formula and world. <laughs> Grungy Mario. Favorite cartoon ever, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. I, I've heard good uh -huh. things about uh, the Kirby anime right back at you. I haven't gotten around to watching that yet. Oh, hold on. I may know but obviously, do. the greatest cartoon ever made is Donkey Kong and the Crystal Coconut. 
That was so weird watching that. I'm like, I, I was, did see I that. Was watching it as like uh, when I was younger, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I think. Now that's weird because you watched reboot and we're okay with that. I, Donkey Kong's animation I was okay, worse, but here, not by a huge margin. Here's the difference. Reboot was supposed to be inside a computer, yeah. so it made sense. Donkey Kong, I saw that as claymation, these cool like claymation like things, like things, and then they just kind of made it CG for no fucking reason. I mean, what just a claymation was expensive. Just do a cartoon, you fools! That was a perfect run. I, I say. Alright, where is this? Where are we? Oh, this fucking... I need, I need fucking eggs, don't I? Oh. You cannot permanently kill that flower. My friend always tells me how good the singing is in that show. There were a lot of musical numbers. They did. They didn't. And then what? again, they're in in the Donkey Kong cartoon. Fuck it. Then again, there were. That's all... why. Oh, you were inside the rock. No, I wasn't. The. You were oh, briefly. The flower got me. I'm leaving. Then again, there were also a lot of musical numbers in the Mario Three cartoon, and that's not something that uh, people necessarily remember fondly. Mario Three cartoon. Always a song with the Koopa Links. <laughs> and, and their nasally weird forced cartoon voices. <laughs> Alright. I, I didn't need that rock to get up there, so that's probably not what the rock is for. Yeah. Uh, do I need to do... Okay, here's what I think. I think this is the end of the rock's usefulness. I think Dwayne's gonna retire. He's an actor, he doesn't need to retire. Oh, we need the rock to go up the, in there. Oh, do- oh, okay, that makes sense. Squishy. Hey, what's over here? It is squishy. Oh, you're right. We must pound the mochi. Flower? Oh, one of them. That's fine. Oh, that was a, maybe it was a flower. No. No, because we got because there were two left. That was a long level. It's not over yet. Thank you! You can can't I, can kill I, him. Can I go through? No, you can't. That's it. That's all that's this area is just that one flower. Looks like I can, though. No, you can't. There's a wall over there. Then why not build a wall over there? To tempt idiots like you into trying and dying. That's why. <laughs> idiots like me, huh? I'm sorry, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Trog says do it. Don't encourage him, Trog. Is this this is just a shy guy pipe? Yeah, it's just shy guy. Oh, pipe. seriously? Uh, all right. You like that? That was tricky. They are satisfying to kill those little mild dudes. The Tildes. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't foresee that. Idiots thing. like me, huh? Fucking shut up! <laughs> oh no, we, we missed miss stuff. It. Oh, whatever. Alright. All in all, I'll have to consider this a good outcome. Must have been an area somewhere. Too busy following the rock path. God. It's just so time consuming to try to, like, go through everything. It is, yeah. By the end of this, are we just gonna give up and be speed and just be blazing through the levels? Is it worth going back and 100%ing at I mean, this there's, point? There's different, there's different levels, like... There's secret- there's bonus levels. That we'll miss. 
And I don't know what do most of them are. I can do it off camera, I guess. Or all the hundreds. In that case, we might as well just find a fucking 100% save. So this is a lake. I hope. It's not a fucking jungle. And then the fish comes out. It's got the jungle music. That's enough to give me PTSD. <laughs> oh god, the fucking jungle. Oh, is that? Oh, no, that's the yellow. <coughs> oh. Oh, that's handy. It's bold of Teen Titans to do a PTSD episode. I... <laughs> Is that, is that your interpretation of that? I thought it was, uh... Just... I mean, it's, it's, it's supposed... Oh, it's a drug. He was actually seeing an illusion of slave. It was left as a trap, but... But if he had PTSD from... It could also be interpreted that way. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I have to make sure Slade is guy turns out the light and stares at his friends. Well, because that's what started the whole episode, is that Robin started getting paranoid, and then he pulled out the mask. Yeah. I don't know that we ever get an explanation as to, oh, the, the, the thing was activated from outside the tower. That might just be left hanging forever. Yeah, because... Because... I mean... <laughs> I remember this level. This level's fine. Team Titan's all about that continuity. I can't wait to see Terra return with no fucking explanation. That's right. <laughs> no, that's Team Titans Go. <laughs> Which I think just ignores the original show's continuity completely. Yeah. Because, you know, Terra's there. And, and is blatantly a villain. I'm evil! I feel like that's what happened with season two of Teen Titans original, was just a big fight between the show's creators and uh, DC, who didn't want them changing a character and making Terra sympathetic. Because that's what it felt like. Something that I found interesting was apparently DC has like all these editors and all these people trying to micromanage everything, and they have writers that they hire, but they don't want the writers to do their own thing. Meanwhile, in Mar in Marvel, people are just like, hey, we get here's these properties. Um, if, you, if you have something good uh, to do with them, we're not gonna stop you. Yeah. So, uh, as a result, that's why DC... If DC is under the the creative control of one person, then it's really good. But if uh, if it's if if not, then it gets kind of uh, well, you know, as as DC fucked up today. Oh no! All right. Can you like jump under it? No. No. Well, oh. Well, it's not gonna let can, we, can we cheese it? Can we glitch it? Oh! Oh! Now what? Okay, try doing it in place. Just jump around, pounds. Damn it! Goodbye, crate. <laughs> Sorry. It's not like it's not like you're necessary for 100 percent completion. Well, maybe it was a key. I'm gonna guess it was stars. That's a lot of work for stars. <laughs> this game has a lot of work for everything. I don't. I don't like the uh, the American comic idea. Yeah, it was a key for that. Oh. It's okay. It's just a mini game. Maybe. Yeah, it is. I don't yep. like the American like comic trend of uh, every, well, DC and Marvel. Everything has to be a massive one universe crossover between all their properties. Here's the thing: is that originally that's how that it wasn't start. It didn't start out like that. I know it didn't. And then they're just like, hey, you know, it'd be cool. Let's just have a big uh, crossover between everybody. And then, and then they decided, you know what? If now we've established they're all in the same universe. We gotta kind of flesh this out a little bit. Yeah. I know, it, it, cheapen, I it cheapens the crossover to me if that's, like, the whole universe that way. Yeah, I I prefer to be ambiguous until such time that it can be unambiguous that, hey, these are in the same universe or something. Like, uh, in the case of, like, uh, just, say, Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha being in the same universe. And yeah. 
Well, now it's it's to the degree that you can't watch one Marvel movie if you haven't seen all the others. Not not quite true. Yeah. Uh, you can watch Guardians of the Galaxy without watching any other Marvel movie. Uh, I mean, it contains ref. Here's the thing: it contains. It, I mean, they sh they share characters, but it's not really necessary. It's only like stuff like the Avengers or like Captain America or something, in which it's like totally important. Kind of like actual comics. At least that's how it's supposed to be designed. Like, uh... Like, not like the uh, DC Cinematic Universe in which you gotta... Uh, why is Superman destroying this city? Watch Man of Steel find out! You don't seem to agree with me, but uh, you know what? It's fine. I... I mean, that's what killed Justice League Unlimited for me. I, I like Justice League reasonably, but then Unlimited happens and you got 50 characters. It's just, it's too much. I don't care about these people. Oh, I don't man. know most of them. Oh, man. You, you, you seem like you'll hate My Hero Academia then. Yeah? It's just nothing but, like, superhero teams all the way down. You I know mean, what? I, I will say this. Uh, I don't like the concept of, like, just... We have all these heroes. Let's have them all be in a team. It's just like, why can't... Why can't people just, like, they team up sometimes and then just hey, go, okay, well, uh, see you later. How much do we really need superhero teams? Like, at what point are the villains so strong that the single heroes can't deal with them? Yeah, it's just... That's why... Uh, it's more entertaining when the heroes are the underdogs who have to beat the stronger villains. Yeah, maybe one day Goku can, like, just, uh, show up and the bad guy's already defeated. Yeah. That'd be nice. I would like that. The... Oh, what's down there? Oh, that's probably the exit. I don't think so. I seem to be I don't there. think what... I... You think so? I think. Here, let's try it. Now watch, we won't be able to go back. See, well, look, we can go back. Okay, we're good. Just coins, huh? No, there's that thing there. Yeah, but... Oh! Okay, I get it. I forgot. No, come back! Oh, wait, hold on. Like, you don't want to see, like, uh... Inuyasha... Koenma, uh, Yusuke, Sailor Moon, and, uh, uh, who else all on a team together? Goku. Goku. Because it's Naruto! Like... One! Naruto's... Luffy! Naruto's on an, already on a team. He's got Team 7. But isn't Ninja World a totally different world from Grand Line? Ninja World... <laughs> That's, that's why you got portals. Yeah. I guess. There's always, always gotta be a, a, a big... A universe collision storyline. That's the only way to do a crossover. Uh, every uh, crossover, every time. <laughs> that's... Uh, uh, you, if, you, if you were writing crossovers, you mean? No, that's exactly how every time it's done. And every time a crossover video game has a plot, it's a, the universes are colliding. That's no, the plot. It's every single time. It's not just, hey, they happen to be in the same universe. No. Maybe the, well, maybe the Grand Line isn't all there is. Maybe the, maybe it's the world. Maybe uh, their local area is just a really big fucking ocean. I mean, we've seen One Piece World. Yeah. It's we, we got a pretty elaborate layout of its continents. Yeah. Which means it's only got to be like a universe fusion, because there's everything's explored. Damn you, crabs! I, I will say I am ge I am growing weary, right? Of like, of, hold on. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm not gonna get on the person. I'm just, I, I need to get through this. A lot of time's been taken up. Apparently, Black Klansman turned out really well. People liked it. I, I it's it's actually in, on the red box. Uh, by the McDonald's. Uh, but it was just kind of weird considering the kind of town this is that they risk. Or wait, maybe that's why that red box machine got destroyed the other day. 
red box machine get destroyed? Yeah, so, like, there was a screen, right? That, like, the, the screen covering the, the three major selections. Yeah. And I just passed by there once. It was just caved the fuck in. The, like, the, the monitor? Yes! Huh. And... I mean, that's like the high school hangout. Is the area you're, you're talking about, I think, so... I don't know. It's also right in front of the police station. Yeah. What are they doing? <laughs> There, you know what? I, I noticed I was in the McDonald's, right? Like getting some food, and uh, I noticed that uh, that they have a sign up that says like no loitering. Uh, yeah. You get 30 minutes to eat your food, and get the fuck out. Is, is that the teenager's revenge? I mean, there are there are like uh, there are high schoolers who just hang out there for long periods of time. There's no, nothing else to do. Like, high schoolers and old people. I see groups of old people come in buses, just hang out at the McDonald's in the morning. <laughs> you seen that? Uh, no, no. I guess I you, don't, you, you don't usually go there in the mornings. I don't usually go there in the mornings. No. Fuck! I guess I'm gonna have to extend the. Why am I concerned about that? Bounce what? on the stilt guy. You don't need to egg anything. Not here. Hold on. You know what? I, I think it's because getting hit in this game is so forgiving. Is what? Just, that's why I'm getting hit a lot. Oh, that'll do it. There you go. You know what? At least I'll have a higher chance of getting a... Uh... Friends. Higher chance of, get of getting a bonus game. Why is there such a thing as a zero percent run? Oh, I'm sure. Over? Can you beat Yoshi's Island without touching a single coin? You seen those videos now? I, I have. Has, uh, has. I don't think they've done this game. I don't know, though. I don't think you can. You don't think so? I haven't watched any of those videos yet, which... I don't know why I haven't. I just... I'm too busy playing boomer shooters. Okay. Feed me the ammo that could be used to kill you, huh? Too bad. So we didn't get all the coins. No, we didn't. Nowhere near enough. <laughs> uh, moving platforms. Oh, is this another? Uh, is this an auto scroller? Not it another. Could be that way. Ride like the wind. Ride. That was a Stradivarius song. They say that I ride like the wind in the storm. Who, who's that? Yeah, I was expecting that him. to work. You can bounce on him when he's low. <laughs> uh, my way would have been pretty cool. Whee! Uh, hold on. Alright, gotta go back. They had a, uh... I want to Oh. It's not... Oh, uh, you gotta go around. In the latest Kirby game, Star Allies, they had a character who was like a, uh, it was like a, a relay character between several of the animal buddies from like Dreamland 3 and 4, like Rick and Koo and them. Uh, I think it was three characters, Rick, Koo, and the fish. It would uh, transform between them, depending on if you were like underwater was the fish or so on. Oh, hello. I'm gonna steal your babies. They're mine now. Oh, 
well, one of them is. I was thinking, what would a character like that in Smash be like? Uh... Do you think they could do that? Like, uh... Like Goomba, Koopa, and Shy Guy on a team together? Oh, and you just swap out depending on moves or something? What would they be called? I guess that would just be Pokemon Trainer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, okay, no, they all fight together, they all get hit together, and they all die together, right? But, so it's like just three on the screen at the same time. Yes, it's... But... It, but they're Ice all climbers like, extreme. It's I'd say more like a duck hunt situation, where you know he had the dog and this guy just respawns. Yeah, you get full six egg of birds. Well, that one's dead. All right, come on, come on, little duckies. Oh, he, he <laughs> it didn't work. I guess you can only have a max of four. Hello, puppy. Yeah, after four, more won't spawn, it seems. What are those things are called? Oh. Another question. Oh, oh another one! More. All right, six ducks! <laughs> I was talking on the forums about the idea of, uh... Well, since Pokemon Trainer's back, about other transforming characters having their transformations again. Oh. Uh, Zelda and Samus. Well... Well, the thing is, is I think if a person who wants to play as, uh... uh Zelda's gonna play Zelda, but a person who wants to play as Sheik is just gonna want to play as Sheik. Yeah. Also, I feel like the Zero Suit Samus thing was a bit, um... Ham-fisted? Well, a bit ill-advised, just the way you play as her. But you can change forms oh, no, when you, uh, when you final smash. But... I think did, it did would... you really like that? Are you really clamoring for that to come back? Not the final smash variety. I would like transform characters to be able to transform with a button that's not down B. Like, Inkling has the shield taunt, or the shield special to, uh, refill. Something like that. I feel a like... A just totally different command. I feel like another reason why they don't want to do that is because people use the bouncing fish for Sheik a lot, and, uh... Well, that's what I was saying. If it was something other than down B would be nice. The... The main point, I think, is that, uh... It was kind of Zelda's original intended character design was, you know, for Sheik to be the one to rack up damage with fast combos, and then Zelda is the zoner and finisher, because Sheik doesn't have finishing power. Oh, yeah. I think that was the originally intended design in Melee. But then, like you said, I think what happened is that the Sheik players just played Sheik, and the Zelda players just played, played Zelda. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I lost all my ducks. I, I, I still think it would be cool to have the option, but... That's because you like to mix it up a lot! What the fuck? I mean, people are playing Pokemon Trainer and uh, actively using all three members. Well, that's that's dip that's because uh, there's like three there's three transformations there. That's a lot more than just two. Uh, three is bigger than two. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. No, I don't know. What do you mean? Okay, yeah, that's what I mean. Three is bigger than two. That is why Pokemon Trainer is more popular as, like, a transforming character than, a. Uh, also, they, they, also, uh, a reason why they felt compelled to do that. Uh, everyone is here. Yeah. Then everyone wouldn't be here if Pokemon Trainer wasn't there. He got grandfathered in. He could, uh, he could just have, like, uh, we have Squirtle, Charizard, and, uh, Ivysaur as separate characters, and him in the background of each of them. Uh... No, Charizard's not, not, but Charizard's, by that logic, Charizard's not there. Because he's now part no, of Pokemon in Trainer. The, in the last... He's been downgraded. <laughs> don't you, don't you miss Rock Smash, Jack? <laughs> Fuck. They, I think it was actually on, I don't know if it's the final Melee tier list that they came out with, but at some point in the history of people making Melee tier lists, there was an entry for Zelda, one for Sheik, and an entry for Zelda and Sheik. <laughs> like, what? Which I guess means people who actively use both of them. So, uh, what, what, was it better to use both of them at once than it was just to use one? Let me open this up. Let me see if it's still there. Because that slot. That's, that's an interesting concept. An extra tier list for... 
In that case, I wonder if uh, if Marvel vs. Capcom tier lists have like team comp tiers. It's just coming up with all the fan-made ultimate tier lists. Oh, here is Smash Wiki. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a laugh? What? I thought you were laughing at something. Oh, no. Well. Google, ad. You're in the way. Close ad. Remove. Uh-oh. It's fast! Whee! I remember liking this level. I, I like fast-moving platforms. Yeah, it's awesome! It's like F-Zero! Apparently, F-Zero came before Mario Kart, and Mario Kart was, uh... I think it started as, like, an F-Zero sequel or spin-off. Oh, and then they just... <laughs> Mario Kart stole F-Zero's thunder! But then and they wanted to add items, but then they realized it didn't really fit with, like, the massive speed of F-Zero, so they had to slow it down. So there's S, and then there's double S. Because Fox... No items, Fox only, final destination. Wolf is actually considered slightly above Fox and Brawl. Vanilla. Oh, well in that case, that's why he is top tier in Ultimate. The, the yep, definitive... here it is. Shielda. Shield. Also referred to as Zelda Sheik. Hold on, this has its own article. Crikey, Shielda! Z chic in similar terms. Z chic. Z chic. The fuck. Is she a cyborg. Primarily using statistical rankings due to relatively little tournament representation for the playstyle. <laughs> yeah, Zelda just plays Zelda. So and it's, a, just plays it's a hypothetical tier. Placing directly above Sheik, and 13 places higher than Zelda in the Brawl tier list. So I guess you gain at least a little something from using Zelda. Theoretically. Theoretically. Considering that she has no tournament play. Yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> but she doesn't have a number value under her. That's Did they like... just put her just slightly above Sheik? Well, because while well, obviously using the character has to be better than, right? You know what that's like saying? What? That's like saying, hey, you know what would be a great... You know what fighting style would dominate MMA? The Klingon fighting style? Yeah. I mean, great that nobody uses it, but hypothetically it's I would work. love to see a wrestler, <laughs> an MMA person, or a wrestler, or someone using a fictional martial arts style. That they brought into a, a re real being somehow. <laughs> They've invented it. <laughs> this, I, this, just the I just the sheer audacity going, well nobody uses it, but hypothetically it should be done. <laughs> It's like how hypothetically pro wrestling should be the do most dominant style in MMA. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank you. Shield up. Z Sheik. <laughs> Z Sheik. That's. I mean, you're using that style. I'm not laughing at the style. I'm just laughing at the presentation of, of them having to uh, to specify. And granted, nobody uses the style, but if they did, yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I get the idea with what they were intending, but the two characters play so differently that they do appeal to different players. Yeah. Like I like Zelda, but <laughs> I, I, I even with the transform, I don't know that I would use Sheik much. You don't really- you didn't really use Sheik a whole lot. No, I never did. I only used... Sheik when I was play- Yeah. So how do you guys feel about Ash Ketchum in Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> about the same way I feel about- No, no, you, Ash would do worse than Yugi. In- in- in Dragon- I guess Yugi can summon actual monsters, right? I guess, but what- what good would that do? 
You have a bunch of monsters. You know what? They have a Goku. Yeah. Oh, man. I have an army of Pokemon! We have a Goku. <laughs> and, then, and then Ash throws the Pokeball at whoever said that. Who? Who Ash sent that Pokeball at Piccolo? Ash sends throws out the Pokeball, hits Piccolo, and it just rolls off his head. And then he tries that again. Wow, this and, must be a legendary. And then but Ash, this usually works. I will say that when Marvel gets something right, it, they, they get it right. Like, I like that scene in, uh... In, in Avengers, when when Loki's like, I'm gonna stab you in the chest with this and possess you, and it just hits his like metal heart, and then Loki's like, this this usually works. Yeah. I don't think any. Th Damn it! I, off the top of my head, I don't think there are any Pokemon that would be fast enough to do much in Dragon Ball Z. I I'd say I'd say Mewtwo could possibly. I mean, he's psychic. Then again, you'd think if Mewtwo could, like, predict moves and read minds, he'd do better in Pokemon than he does. He'd just be, like, I mean, in the anime, he's undefeated! Yeah. Alright, give me a moment. I need to figure out... Uh, I didn't realize this, this level was a maze. Pokemon did end every season with a tournament mark. Not a good one, I don't think, but, you know, Ash, it happens. Because Ash never wins it. Never, ever. He'll never win it. Because he'll always... Because... Don't you just love it when you're following a like, main character, and he starts it's off a allowed. loser, and you think, okay, maybe maybe he'll get better. And then and then he's always remains a loser, and you're just like, well, why the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? yup up ba da 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 don't you love series that don't progress? Isn't that a great writing style? It's only good for comedy, and even then, I only tolerate it to a point. What do you want from me, game? Egg won't go in there. I, I'm, I'm not positive that you are correct. Okay, you're right. It's the last one, and then... The thing about anime is that it takes 100 episodes to finish an anime series saga, but two hours to beat a Marvel villain. Because that it's, it's just structure. Anime is... I feel like... Oh, that's the thing. Does, did somebody do a super cut of, uh... Of, like, uh... All, like, the fight scenes... Like, a fight scene from, uh, Dragon Ball Z? Oh, I'm and, sure. like, all, like, the... All, like, the... The actual raw, like, fighting footage. Not They cut out everything else that wasn't involved in the fighting, and it ended up being, like, three hours. Maybe. Do they want me to... Does it disappear? Well, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out. There's something obvious that I'm missing. The fact that you're not making fun of me means that you're missing it, too. No, oh, no. I'm, I'm letting you figure it out. <laughs> not every anime is Dragon Ball Z, though, Sandy. Let's be real. Yu Yu Hakusho arcs were, like, uh, I don't know, 20 episodes on average? Yeah. If that. Decently Depending long. on the arc. The Dark Tournament was long, but... Des deservingly so. Yeah, it... It is right now. What is right now? Every anime is Dragon Ball Z right now? I Because that's the only one he's watching, I guess. Okay. This is what I figured. Fuck! Refresh. I am through! One Piece arcs take a while. One Piece arcs are the longest. They they're pretty meaty. They're not they're not padded like Dragon Ball Z arcs, but they're just there's always so much going on. Yeah. And and, and 
Except Alabasta. That I felt was padded. Here's here's how uh, here's the general flow of a of a One Piece arc. Uh, they, they begin. They enter a new place. They're like, "Wow, this place is magical." They enjoy themselves. Villain comes out, reveals he's he's fucking this place up. Luffy realizes, hey, we need to beat this guy. That's the villain. I'm gonna kick his ass. No, Luffy, you'll make a scene. They they kick his ass. Eventual. Well, no, well, no. They they start fighting with all his minions first. They yeah. go through all this shit that ultimately culminates in Luffy fine against everyone else's wishes, just going straight to the dude and kicking his ass. And what do you know? Arc's over. And then they have a party. Yeah, party. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Sometimes it doesn't go that way. <laughs> Sorry, I, rem I remember where I need to go. There we go. Ah, uh, just a circle, and you don't realize you're going in a circle until you go. Wait a minute, haven't I been here before? Dragon Ball is mostly action. BBZ. Well, yeah. I mean, that's most shonen anime, I would argue. I, as as compared to what? You know, you want an anime with not a whole lot of action? Boogie Pop Phantom. Boogie Pop Phantom. That's heard, getting a new series. That's, I heard that. I'm like, uh, how's that gonna be? Get the will fuck out of here! Will she finally like herself? <laughs> I don't like my... Like, well, no. Lucky Star is not Dragon Ball Z. Lucky Star? That uh, That is a very different show. Yes, you're correct about oh that. Oh, God. Just... <laughs> you know, it's a show that's all action is Gurren Lagann. Uh, Your login's fine. Show that most shonen anime, more so, I'd say One Piece is usually pretty good. There is there is some downtime. Usually a lot of panicking about like where the fuck is Luffy, where the fuck is Zoro, we need to leave. Where are they? That 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 usually is a sign that the arc is gonna d d d last a little bit. There's a lot of just characters looking for other characters and trying to meet up again in One Piece. I feel that's <laughs> they what they all get separated. Slowest. They're like, oh god, we. <laughs> they do. They it's get like, separated all the time. It's not. A, it's not a show about pirates. It's a show about tourism. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> this it's show exploration. Uh, the Hawk Show is pretty good. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Got plenty of lives. Yeah, when you don't make death, <laughs> yeah, you got to show us. Kenshin's p pacing's pretty okay. Yeah, Kenshin feels slow to me. There's a lot of downtime in Ken. Kenshin is self-loathing. Uh, Kenshin is a series that has fights, but they're always reluctant. You gotta like drag Kenshin, kicking and screaming, to screaming to get to the fight, and then afterwards it's all somber, like I regret this fight. War <laughs> <Poor> as hell. <laughs> Which, That's the tone of Roni Kenshin. You know what, considering that the main character thinks that way, I'm not surprised the no, show... No, it makes so sense. <laughs> it's just, it, it's not, I wouldn't recommend it as a primarily action show. I think it's pretty more character driven. Yeah, it, it's more uh, like a show about philosophy. Uh, history. You, watch, you, you yeah. watch Roni Kenshin if you like Japanese history. You want to learn about what the fuck happened to you, buddy? He's a big dumb turtle. Oh no, he's coming! Rip. The shell is too hard. So I have no when more you, eggs. When you I... say that Yu-Gi-Oh has good pacing, I mean it's not uh, it's not an action show, but there's pretty much a duel in every episode. Yeah, there's a there's a duel in almost every episode. Uh where am I supposed to get my eggs? Oh no, the boss thought of this. They didn't they didn't provide a means for you to get eggs. Kamek is learning. Unfortunately, it's still a turtle, which means its armor is pretty tough. You think this is Kent C. Koopa? 
thing is, before he, he, he lost should, his eyesight... He, he lost his eyesight, he didn't recognize glasses. Mario and his sworn enemy. Hey, he lead, too. That's pretty awesome. This boss... He's got momentum. Jack, he's a Koopa. What do you do to Koopas? God damn it. Wait, what? Are you supposed to knock him over, though? I thought... Hey, He's a on. Koopa, Jack! I jumped on him and I did the what thing! What are you doing at the right time? There you go! Not uh, once this whole fight did you jump on him I jumped on, on him while several he was on times! While he was on all fours! You never did that! Oh! Well, I was waiting for it! Hey... I tried it and it didn't work! What was I supposed to do? Oh! Clearly I didn't do it when he was in this arbitrary position! Kent C was actually hard. Yeah, if you, if you didn't know about the cheese. He was, he was especially vulnerable to falling asleep. Yeah, because cause he's an old man, I guess. Yoshi! Chill the fuck out! Yeah, you could cheese Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door Paper. I was referring more to Kensi Koopa was weak to sleep effects. How, how, how do you mean? I imagine. You mean like Danger Mario? Because that was pretty cheesy. I sacrificed all my defensive power in an attempt. Oh. We had everything else. Infinite charge. Yeah. There was the Goombario tactic. Just throw Goombario at your opponent and and then he'll kill anything. And then become a star. Then you gotta break the news gently to his pin pal, Goombella. That's how that's how I had those events in my head. Yeah. Oh, trumpets! I don't know. Do we have time for more? We can fit in a little more if we want to. We're almost to the final world. Get as much progress as we as we can out of the blizzard. blizzard! Oh hey, this is the ice level. The ice and sky oh, that's level. That's right, this is the I ice world. I call it the ice and sky world. Oh, it's like a it's like a cross between Lakitu and the, the Thunder Brothers. <laughs> I am Dave Thunder of the Thunder Brothers. Thunder, the, Dave, Thunder, Thunder, Dave, 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 Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. The enemies from Mario World. I know. I was just... Yeah, Smothers Brothers Brothers. <laughs> that, that, that guy, his channel got, like, shut down. Why? Cause, Did he do something cause, else Because people didn't know what... Don't know what free use is! Yeah. Or fair yeah, use, sorry. Inf infomercials not like it? Or did they shut him down? They, you're violating our copyright! How dare you insult the Smothers Brothers? <laughs> My dick. I wonder if that video is still up. That was on our list on YouTube. Uh, if it's not, I'll find a mirror. He, he was really well liked around that community, so. Like. Oh, it's those guys. The Spikes. Yeah. Well. It was apparently a character. Like Mario Tennis or something? They, they really. They're really out of character for the sports games. They just get every Mario enemy. <laughs> except, um, Piranha, except Piranha Plant. I don't think Piranha Plant's playable in any of the sports entries. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see somebody try to do like a Mario game where Mario, Peach, and Bowser have disappeared. So you, so you, all, all the player characters are like traditional Mario enemies. And they have abilities that befit them. Like the Koopa has high defense. Or, uh, the like Koopa's trying to save Bowser, even. Yeah. Like from Mario. No. Now you have a Koopa. You have a shy guy. He's he's the rogue. Yeah. Somebody, if somebody runs uh, some kind of Dungeons and Dragons type thing, do that, but with uh, Mario. Like. Enemies. I would have I would have liked that to have more Paper Mario games that had you know enemies 
as allies with traits from said enemies, but no, instead we got pixel things and uh, paint buckets and so on and so forth. Paper, we don't need another paint, like our Paper Mario RPG because we got Superstar Saga. We don't need another racing game because we got Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. But you can drive upside down in the Blue Falcon in Mario Kart 8. Isn't that like F-Zero? <laughs> hey look, we're going 60 miles per hour! Isn't that like 255? You can't ride at the Orient Express? Well, here, ride, ride this go-kart. It's the same, right? I wonder how fast Sonic is in Sonic X. That's like the fastest incarnation of him, I yeah. feel. Because you had Sam Speed, who had these, like, supersonic race cars. Because we have jets in real life that go, like, Mach 5. Yeah. Oh, no. And Sonic was just faster than everything in the series. Well, I found five red points. I thought they were up there as well. I don't they know, are they? Seems like not. Seems like these are just I don't know points. why I'm doing this, considering that uh, I'll lose my lives as soon as... Uh, yeah. Now we fight penguins. We were talking earlier about... Uh... What if they killed off Eggman in the Sonic series? Yeah, uh, I would say that Egg, Egg, that uh, Sonic would want to avenge his killer. Yeah, that would be tragic for the series, of course. Yeah, and it would get people talking, but then the, you're on the risk of that would be like the cheap getting people talking, like, oh, yeah. they're killing off Brian. He's gonna be gone from Family Guy. He, they're killing off uh, Superman. Which, you know, they did, and then they brought him back, because it, it was a marketing gimmick. The first time they did that uh, was uh, Superman. Was that was they it? had the, the death of Superman, like, arc in uh, DC. Yeah. Uh, which is like... Uh, the idea was that, hey, we will have this show in which, uh, uh, like, uh, Clark Kent gets married to Lois Lane, and... Uh, and it, they call, and it was an actual show called Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. I'm, I'm familiar with that show. But they, they, they were delayed on that, and they had to also delay the, the arc in the, in the comics as well. So... You know what? I think it would have been for the best. So they're like, hey, how do we delay this, uh, this arc? Uh, in the comics so we can match up the timing for when the show's done. And some guy's like, hey, how about we do an arc where S uh, Superman dies? And, uh, and they were like, yeah, let's go for it. And yeah. people thought that he was, like, dying permanently? And then they had, like, as a stopgap measure, had four separate Supermans take up the mantle. Yeah. Uh, you know who they are? Uh, were they Justice League members? Uh... Was one of them Batman? No. Uh, so they had, uh, they had... Oh, how many clones of Super... They had four uh, clone, different Super... Of course. One was, no, one was a clone, and it was, like, a young clone. Like, I think the government did it. It was called... He didn't want to be called Superboy, but it was fucking Superboy. Yeah. The next was some kind of weird Superman cyborg thing that, uh... His first act in his comic was to find the person who killed him, uh, Doomsday. Yeah. Uh, and basically give him a burial in space so people wouldn't experiment on him. And I guess it was revealed that he was like a villain or something? A cyborg Superman? Yeah. And then, uh, why can't you eat these penguins? That's dumb. They're too cold! I gotta spit them out. Yeah, and, uh, two other Supermen. Then, uh, another one, uh... The Ubermensch, of course. Yeah, and another one was, I guess, what somebody thought was the spirit of, uh... Uh, of Superman, who possessed the, the dead Superman, and he basically became brutal. I don't know what happened with that. And then the fourth one, uh, is Steel. Steel? You never heard of Steel? No. So it's this, uh, dude who, uh, this guy who was, like, affected by, uh, the shit that happened in, uh, during the Doomsday arc. Okay. And, uh, 
How does and he basically he built himself an uh, armor with, like a sledgehammer, and he calls he calls himself the Man of Steel, and he had the a Superman logo because Superman was his hero. Oh. And I think he lasted the long. I think he became like an actual character. I don't know why I'm doing that. So, so how does Bizarro Superman fit into all of this? Hello, Superman. Comics aren't ready to kill off characters ready enough. <laughs> I am. I hate one. that there are like five Robins. I hate that. Well, I hate that the the name of the superhero lives on past more than one character. You think that they should be a different like? There should be new the superheroes. Time. They should cycle out. They should let old ones die. But you got put that merch though. Exactly. That's why I hate it. It's merch. Oh. That's why it continues. So you think if Robin died, there should have been another guy called Sparrow? No. <laughs> I think Batman should not have had another sidekick. I think Batman should have died. <laughs> Bat Batman! But who will defend new, Gotham? A new guy! Someone who's not Batman! Oh, you're gonna hate this thing. In, in the Soul Calibur universe, there are like, there, there are two different Yoshimitsus, because that's a legacy thing. Yeah. You get the title of Yoshimitsu. That's by okay being... with one or two characters, not with every fucking character in your comic. They don't comic do that series. with every fucking character. They do it with way too many. God. You will inherit the title of Superman. You will inherit the title of Green Lantern or Robin. There was only one Superman. He just happened to be really fucking tough and managed to resurrect himself. Yeah. For See, for the- no! 200 I'm years in DC I'm, time now. You know, people actually- uh, The universe has been destroyed a couple times, come back, new timeline, shit. Yeah, then you have a Batman back, because he technically never died. So we can- yeah, so we can sell more shit and reinvent the characters that have sold for 40 years. Your, your thing is- it seems like it's very anti-capitalist. It is, yes. I- I'm- I, I'm proud of you. I, it's in- I, I, You it, have no I, idea I, how proud well, I am of you It's not just right that, now. it's- it's for the sake of art, because these are stories. These are art. Give me new stuff to take in. Don't feed me, me more of the same characters I've seen for 50 years. Here, here's an idea. We do Batman, right? No. But but he's a radical kid. No. <laughs> what, what Batman put as a hacker. <laughs> hacker Batman. This is just a whole stream of us shitting on comics. <laughs> I was talking about DC. I'm, 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 I'm shitting. You're, we're talking. Oh, who did they actually kill uh, off in uh, in Marvel? Uh, Captain, and not replaced. The original with Captain a new Marvel version. died. And not replaced with a new version of the same identity. I mean, they made him. They didn't make a movie of Captain Marvel before. That doesn't count. You can't just like kill off a comic character and go, "Well, that's shelved forever." Yes, you can, and you should. <laughs> Okay, I disagree with you there, but what if people want to see more of them? What if the uh, what if That's the what audience? That's fan to... fiction is for. <laughs> I don't know that Dragon Ball needed to come back for Super. I think that might have been better off ending. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking Super though. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, you know there, what? There's though? such a thing as too much of a series. It, sometimes it's better off to to end. It ended for 15 fucking years. Yeah. Or however long it did. People can do whatever they want with their properties. Like, I'm not gonna tell people, hey, I'm tired. If I'm tired of seeing something, I just stop watching it. Yeah. Well, that's just me, though. I'm, I'm, I'm mad that other people don't do that. I'm mad that, that, that this shit is still selling. You're mad that... that uh, I'm mad at people. I'm mad at the audience. <laughs> they should have died... <laughs> <laughs> I'm two and a half years older than you. You're, you you think like an old man. Yeah. I was born old. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think I'll never grow up. You mean... Is that ski lift never coming back? Uh, I... Maybe no. Oh, there's another one. To the left. Oh. Uh, how, how do I mod Nightbot, Sandy? How do I have 23 lives already? This game, this game just gives you lives and just never stops giving you lives. There he is. A life system is pointless in this game. Yeah, I mean, that was a lot of early Nintendo games. There were 
very generous with the lives. This is a game that you need them more, at least. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Then, for example, Donkey Kong Country, where you ended up 99 on every save file. Granted, they reset when you turn the game off. Yeah. The... What were some other games with way too abundant lives? Kirby? Kirby was... Kirby had a lot of them. And uh... I think that continues to this day in Kirby. Mario World? Mario uh, World was pretty easy and yeah. abundant in lives. Yeah, Mario World, that was kind of a problem. Well, we just lost that one coin, so there's no point going for 100 now. That was a one up. Ah, oh, Penguin! I, I just, I modded him, Sandy. He, the Nightbot is modded. What? Oh, I didn't jump. Nope. This game has some weird... This game sometimes... Oh. I don't know why you weren't expecting that. I think I know what's going on, right? Why? Because some, uh, because some games, uh, they allow, like, a, like, a sub several frame grace period after you jump off, the, after you fall off a ledge to do the jump. Yeah. But this game doesn't because, uh, because when you're in the air, you're always gonna be fluttering. Yeah. So that's, that's what's kind of messing with me a little bit. Alright. Oh! What's this? Oh! That works. Trick shot! There's a red coin back there. I'm not getting 100%. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. I tried, but I didn't even get the first level. What makes you think? We really want 100% this, I can do it. Either off-stream or get a save file. I can, I, I can do it as well, like, it's... But you won't. <laughs> I still, I still need to, uh, and start... RPG yeah. and, uh... We need to finish, I need to finish that. Not we, me. I'm willing or... to if you get the save file back up to where we were. I will. Finish the fight. We need to. We need to see what Johnson looks like. Johnson? Or who, Jones or whoever? Is that a character in Mario RPG? The the boss we were gonna fight. The shark dude. Spoilers. I, no, no, no. I, I'm not saying I need to go now. I'm just I'm thinking about when I do need to go. Probably like 40 minutes or something. All right. Wait. Cool level. What uh, is this? Oh, it's coin block. Only Mario can hit coin blocks. They just use the mouse noise for ice. Pretty sure that was changed in the Game Boy version. They had an actual ice noise, or no noise. Yeah, you're right. Squeak, squeak! Yeah, it doesn't sound like ice, it sounds like sneakers. Sneakers on water. Sorry, Trihex. Ah! It's slippery! That was not, I don't know what's going on, what happened there. Oh my. Hey, guess what? Snow doesn't hurt. Nope. Goodbye. Also, it can't be eaten, though. Are those supposed to be the same snowmen from Mario 64? Uh... Inconclusive. Those ones throw, threw snowballs at you. And then there were the fuckers who were flower snowmen. I guess I'm flying. No, I'm not! Oh, snowman! All the just, to be I, honest, all these all these critters aren't really doing a whole lot. Just ice and bouncing. That's this world. It's the it's a it's the most peaceful world. You Except don't want, for the bottomless cliffs. 
you, but you, that's just a natural hazard of the mountains, though. Gotta be tough to live here. These things are so tough they can't be hurt. Only just noticed the coins have little Yoshis on them. These coins? The little yellow ones? Two flowers! Hooray! Yeah! Fuck you, game! We could get a, uh... You know, if we are just gonna get a safe file, we could get one of the completed, uh, Game Boy game. Sure. Show that off. That, yeah, that has even more levels. <laughs> so we do, we do all the normal levels in this one, and then we do all the bonus and extra levels in that. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, hey! See the differences. Roulette. Gamble, kids! Times one zero. You get nothing. Because I think we can at least get through this fortress. Danger, icy conditions. You don't say. How do we ski? I remember that was a level in this game. Are you ready for ice physics? Grab a red watermelon. Will this prevent me from slipping? No. I don't like having to melt stuff in Mario games. There's always more stuff to melt than you have ammo. Well, man, I'm just thinking of this level. You have infinite fireballs in Mario. Yeah. I don't like, like having this... to conserve ammunition. Ah, uh, oh, trust me, it, it, it sucks having to try to do that. Yes, you're playing through a level and you just want to shoot stuff, but you're just like, no, I gotta save it. I'm just doing this so I don't get fucked over. A lot of the challenge in this game is trying to find everything. That's mostly what it is. It's like it, easy it, enough to get through, but hard to find everything, like Kirby. That's kind of the. That's kind of also Kirby and Yoshi both subscribe to that philosophy, though. Even in the in the newer Yoshi games, which people still like, they're apparently been making good Yoshi games. Yarn World and all that. Yoshi games are are underrated. I have to say. I don't know if I'm necessarily looking forward to the crafted one. That looks like it has a lot of uh, like 3D in it. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Maybe. I'm not really a devout follower of the Yoshi series. The only thing that can beat a penguin is another penguin. These penguins are just, like, just relaxing here, and I'm just ruining their fucking... Oh, these penguins, but with clips from the Batman penguin. <laughs> Hey, just relax. I'll take care of the pathetic puppets of Gotham. He looked, he looked really different and not as fat in Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. He didn't appear very much in that. <laughs> didn't he like, he was like a mafia boss, right? He was really good at being sleazy. And he was kind of ill-tempered. And people are like, look at me, I look like a penguin. And then... People and he used that to his advantage to tell him, "Hey, I'm not a bad guy. I just..." And then there was that time that Batman in that movie recorded him like saying some stuff about like how he was going to play the city, like "Arm from Hell," yeah. and, and he kept repeating it. Except at one point, uh, Batman just took the record it was apparently recorded on and just started <laughs> doing a DJ scratch. Just because... I'm not making this up. This happened. But that's evidence, Batman. <laughs> just fuck up, fuck up. I always wondered if that would work. <laughs> Good thing those stars have generous hitboxes. Yeah. Ah, I fucked up. Was it, did you just lose a glasses lens? Yeah. I'll fix it in a sec. How am I collecting these coins? 
seriously. I'm. I don't. I see shiny. I have to get. I see enemy. I must destroy. I mean, There's a very short game if you don't collect anything. I guess you're right. Yeah. I guess that it's kind of. This was their attempt to give meaning to the uh, the score functionality in previous like Mario games. What? Right? I just. Oh man, it didn't flutter. Because in previous Mario games, you just had the score, and now, you know, they have game content. You get extra levels from getting a score as measured by collectibles. Yeah, and then you get free bonus stages. Which is better than the score meaning absolutely nothing, at least. Yeah. The score means nothing. To realize, it's been a- I mean, that's a holdover from arcades. It is. It was, uh... Back when, like, that was the point, was to get a high score and have your name on the thing. So you could show off to people. That was that was most of the game's replay value. He keeps running up the wall when I don't want him to. That's what's going on. I'm like I'm holding it down too long. He's jumping off the wall. Hello, Scruntu. You know what this needs? This needs shitty Minnesotan accents. I never ride a video game chairlift without shitty Minnesotan accents. Oh yeah. You know, if you want to, you can use the ski lift there. What? Why'd you fall, guy? I'm trying to do my ballerina routine, but these Rhinox... These Rhinox... <laughs> like, the, like that episode of MLP where fucking, uh... The two, two, two ponies are trying to do two separate and equally contrasting routines. That, that one stuck with you. Yeah. It was so weird! Like, I enjoy it. It's just like... The rarity ballet during, like, Rainbow Dash rock opera flight routine. It was, it was like a, uh, like an actual airplane flight show going on above, like, an ice ballet. Like, Disney on ice with air show. Disney on ice with... <laughs> Can you imagine the advertising for that? Just, that sounds like it, you post it up over, like, a Disney on ice, and then, and then you see a thing under it, and it says, with air show. That would be a terrible show, because you would have two things just distracting from each other. That sounds like a Simpsons bit. Yeah. Like... That's, not, that's like something that would set the scene, is just you look at that, and then Homer would comment on it. I All right. don't know whether to look at the planes or the ice. Oh! Uh, oh, I got skis! The Pinkie Pie Porno. No, that was a different episode, Scruntu. Wait, Pinkie Pie Porno? <laughs> What's he referring to? I did, he's just making Okay. No, that didn't happen. Like, of course it didn't happen! I mean, I'm like not... wondering what episode would be confused for her making a- I mean, not, you know, on camera. If anyone would do that, it would be her. How many- There's that one- This uh... is- obviously it's not gonna happen. How many people would lose their fucking shit? There's just the rage on the internet. Goku doesn't get into Smash Brothers, a pony does. Just any any one of them. Doesn't matter which. <laughs> Rainbow Dash for Smash pissed everyone on the internet off. Not everyone! A lot of people. <laughs> it would be, be great. I, I, I want to see that happen now. <laughs> Let epic trolls. People, people take take shit way too seriously. I thought that already happened, because plants... That, that, well, that was, that was a troll on Nintendo's part, I think. That's, that's my, what I'm leaning towards. Sakurai's Revenge. You wanna bother me about Waluigi? Well, fuck you. Here's a plant. Someone made a thread on the Smash boards about, uh, if this game had rivalries, like, uh, special character interactions, cutscenes, or something, what would they be? Oh, uh, so, it would have, it, it wouldn't really be voiced a whole lot. It would, uh, like, uh, Mario Bowser, etc., etc. 
and, and I oh, said man. that uh, villager and, and uh, plants would be rivals because <laughs> it's time to weed the village, Mr. Mayor. He, like, the mayor brings out like a bunch of hedge clippers and then the burnt plants just look at him like, yeah. that's a thing in Animal Crossing. You leave your village for too long and just get gross weeds everywhere. I've really got to be careful with that rock. It's so annoying, just that jump. Dr. Mario and Kirby. Why, why, why is that, Scrunchy? Take your medicine! I still subscribe to the theory that Dr. Mario is Mario's and Luigi's dad. Yeah. I, I said, I said uh, Mega Man and Doc, just because, you know, Doctor. <laughs> now imagine if they all had dialogue. And... Fully voiced by Charles Martinet. Yeah. He did it, he did it in the WarioWare game. Have a rotten day. Kirby eats everything. So does Wario. Wario Wii Fit Trainer. That would be kind of pathetic. Welcome to the part of the game that you've been saving up lives for. You wanna try this? No, I'm, I'm not I'm not making fun of you, I'm saying this is a hard part. God. The ready to ski is fun, right? Can't use my eggs either. To just like shoot stuff in front of you? Yeah! I'd love to see uh, a Yoshi like Dragon Ball parody or something. Or like uh like the the, the rock in Yu Hawk Show. Genkai's teaching him like the special spirit gun or something. <laughs> if I did that in my prime, it would have blown up the mountain. Just Yoshi powering up his eggs to destroy bigger and bigger rocks or I something. I fucked up, I think. No, I didn't. Uh, okay, you're good. Are we done yet? Oh, of course there's more. That's a troll rock. Fuck that rock. May have to come back to this one. This is my this is my quick get, man. We're gonna just get down to one life and have to save state. This is uh, this is my quick man right here. You were you were worried that uh, you would like taken that fight away from me. Or yeah, something. I'm like. <laughs> I, I'm just happy that you played a game that you didn't really care for and compared it to Dark Souls. <laughs> Not I, positively. I, 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 I'm disappointed it took me long enough to, uh, to basically just the, the, to figure out what to do, because I figure if I approached that more logically, I, I probably would have come up with that strategy sooner. Just to stand back and just fire, like, attacks when he's about to do something. Also, uh, Dark Souls bosses are well designed. Yeah. That's what my boss. I let that rock get to me again. It's that one section. It's really tight. What if the rabbit turns out to be like a uh, a fire normal type? Fire normal? And it's a There's, wacky tune. There has been one of those. They're, they're doing more, like, normal-type halves over the years. Because normal-types always really just kind of stood alone. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's nice to get the stab from normal-type moves, which are some strong ones. The... It actually would be better than, like, uh... Well, they're not going to do that for a starter, though. A normal no. type starter, I don't think they've ever done that. Well, normal's like a secondary type. They've never done that, no, but... Would be nice to have, uh, you know, not firefighting again. Made it. Fire... But the... But firefight decks... That's the Pokedex where every uh, Pokemon's firefighting. Yeah. Except for Snorlax. Uh, not Snorlax. Except for Slowpoke. Uh, are you gonna look it up? 
look what up. Nothing. Right, you're, you're, no, we don't know the what they evolve into yet. No, I was talking about fire fight decks, but it's actually pretty well drawn. Oh yeah. Item chance. Give me the save state. It didn't save state. Oh, wait. You don't need to save state for this. Save state. Don't be a bitch. I'm. I'm not. Do it. I was looking up the. Uh... All right, load state. No. Yes. No. Yes. I was looking up the the thread for scrum two. Load state. <sighs> I just want the items, bro. We're not 100%ing it. I. But the items could be useful. Oh, oh, Sa Sandy's adding commands. Thank you, Sandy. I, I don't know that they're useful commands. Hey, guess what? Got 10 lives! We're gonna lose them! Zelrog, please, you were cheating, cheesing random boxes in Battle Network. Yeah, no, no, I didn't use save states. I, <laughs> I reset the game, that was a feature. Semantics. Cheater! <laughs> Alright. This one. Oh yeah, wait, no, we're fucked. This guy has no weaknesses. I got to this one and I stopped playing because I didn't know how to beat him. Is that a thing, Sandy? Is that, like, it takes in commands and then it levels them up or something? What? Hello, Mr. Chomp. Ow. Can you hit it? You can't hit it with an egg. I forget. Is there something you can do in this room? Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you gotta, like, pow it or something. Uh, use a item, I think. Why, well, the pow will destroy the chomp. There we go. That confused me for the longest time. On it, me as well. Oh, it's just that. Top secret on the level select. Select XXYBA. Okay. Okay. How do I leave? I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, Trog didn't know about that. You could die, I guess. This is a... Take him! I don't want him anymore. <laughs> Alright. Think. Okay, select, and then X, X, Y, okay. So, oh! do we we have to enter that every time though, right? Yeah. And this is just the this is just the bandits. Yeah, I think they're like. Uh, These are all just for lives, except popping. We can get star items, I think. Yeah. And seed spit, we can get melon items. Oh hey, this is games two player now. Yeah. All right. Glad this exists. Right, what, what? If not that, then what were you wanting to, Trog? You know what? I actually think I'm gonna do the 100% stuff as a stream. As a stream? Damn, got to me. Were you gonna, like, get the save file and go back and 100% it all? <laughs> Seed spit. I don't think we've done this yet. How does this work? Machine gun warfare, son! He's a fake Yoshi. How come he can take cover? I can't do that. Man, Banjo Kazooie, fuck that! Yoshi was the first shooter mode. Because Banjo Tooie had the like yeah. first person shooter. Mode. It had, that was a that was a, a multiplayer uh, ability you unlocked. Yeah. Uh, because you needed it to complete some levels. Where are you? Come on out. You get watermelons. Okay. 
So yeah, I guess we have to enter that code every time we want to play. Okay. Oh, there's like a- you can change the control layout, I guess. Oh. Where are you supposed to be? Get the fuck out of here. He's just a friendly ghost here. Oh. He, he was sad I hit him. Wow! You ever see Ozzy and Drix? I have. Or, uh, Osmosis Jones, which... I, I've seen both of them. Got the cartoon Ozzy and Rick's. I, yeah, I've seen both as well. Uh, the, I'm just, uh, the guy flatlining and watching the city getting destroyed. They're going, oh, we're fucked. Wasn't it, uh... The cartoon show was in, like, a teenager's body, though. Yeah, because he got, he got moved to, from the, him to the teenager, and he's like, man... I know this. I, I this is where things turned around for uh, Frank. Well, maybe you can help him out. He's like, Nah, man, I'm retired. Didn't they play it up as like uh, he got shifted, to, like being moved to a new precinct or something? No, the uh, mosquito sucked him up. And the mosquito, same mosquito, bit him. And uh... well, congratulations, teenager. You now have AIDS. Actually, it was scarlet fever. Cause yeah. he's back. He didn't fully get over it after he, uh, um, after Bill Murray almost died from it. It was Bill Murray, wasn't it? It was, yeah. There's a lot of gross-out humor in that movie, but that's to be expected. As far as far as movies go, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. Yeah. It, it actually be willing to watch it again for like a watch or something, if need be. All right. <laughs> One of the better mixes of animation and live action, I would say. They don't do that too, too often. It made sense considering uh, that uh, the, the juxtaposition of what's going on. What if they did that with the Inside Out? I'm glad they did. Actually, you know what? Yeah, just live action for the main footage. I'd be down for that, honestly. Could have worked like, in the same vein. Yeah, I would say that that, that could actually do pretty well. Baby no. Snatcher. Baby Stand. He's not going for 100. No. I, I, I... We got slugs to kill. New enemy never before seen. I was just... It is, weird. <laughs> it is weird because for the most part all the other uh, bosses were bigger versions of enemies we'd seen before. And then you just have a couple like Bert the Bashful and the slug guys. Who are only seen for the first time in their castles. Yeah. It's, uh... Well, oh, those don't look like they, they would taste good. Maybe, maybe they're, like, trying to find a way to, like, find a place for them, and they're just, they just can't, and they're just like, oh, well, we still have the boss ready! Not only that, but there are these guys, these other slug enemies that haven't appeared before now, just because we needed more slug enemies in the castle. Here's why I really like this game, right? They, they took the time to have, like, a whole bunch of bosses, yeah. like, ready, right? Two per world, so 12... Bosses, and you know what? It works well. Like but the best Mario game is Mario One, where you just fight Bowser every time. Mario Three, where well, you know what? They had some, they had variety in the Koopa Kid fights. Yeah, it wasn't as. I mean, it wasn't as. I mean, it wasn't total. It was basically four boss fights stretched over to eight. Eight people. They had slight differences. The Koopa Kids were Echo Fighters in Mario Three. <laughs> So, the Koopa Kids, are they Bowser's, like, kids, or...? Nintendo's official answer is no. So, they're just his wards? I guess. He's, he killed all the other Koopa leaders and stole them? They're as, like, like, hostages? Uh, maybe they're like the, they're like the, the little Jedis entrusted to Anakin. Maybe that's them to Bowser, and Bowser didn't kill them all. <laughs> the Bowser lords? Yeah, no way he trusted Anakin with Jack and shit. You know how that how that happened? Ow. Basically, he went to the temple. They're like, Master Anakin, what's wrong? He turned on his lightsaber and killed them all. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they knew him and trusted him. Yeah. I trusted you, Anakin. <laughs> but that, that's the way. Oh wait, that's one way to move. They also changed their story on uh, Wario and Waluigi, who were originally, canonically, actually brothers. But... And then they just said, no, nah, they just changed their mind at some point. And they're just two dudes who know each other. Maybe... May, maybe they thought they were brothers and the DNA test came back wrong? 
You mean, I'm adopted? <laughs> I'm sorry to break the news to you. I was surprised as well. That's why he doesn't get a game, because it's family only. <laughs> yeah, so the Mario series is a family-run business, you see. But I'm... A, but I'm... <laughs> adopted! That's... <laughs> this, uh... No, no, that's what Waluigi thinks. Like, oh, is that why I don't get the game? Because... Because it's yes, family run only? And he's like, no, it's because you're an asshole. Yes, that's the reason. I like it better if it was just like... I know, like, that's what I'm saying, is he doesn't want to tell War Waluigi that just no one yes. wants him in the game. So, so, uh, Mario and Luigi are brothers, Oreo's their cousin, Waluigi's adopted. Is, is that our canon? Sure. Uh, Sponge is also a cousin. And, uh... Sponge was conceived as, like, the third forgotten brother. Oh. Which, people do. Dorkly did a bit like that, too. It was like, Giuseppo. The third Mario Brothers Giuseppe, or Mario, Luigi, and Giuseppo. You know, other Italian name. Vinny? Yeah, Vinny, the third Mario Brother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Vinny Pizza Pasta. <laughs> That's his canonical last name now. Vinny Pizza Pasta. He, he just, he tells people to send, when they send mail to him to put that name on it. Despite him sounding like the least Italian dude ever, he just sounds like a guy. Sorry, Vinny, but it's true. What, a very, what an interesting job that mailman must have. Vinny Pizza Pasta. They're actually, it's not really surprising, common Italian name, but there's a uh, Vinny's Pizza Pasta and more here in Vancouver. Oh, really? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta send that uh, to Vinny. No, he... Did, He's, he's stated that he's received many pictures like that and does not need any more. Oh. <laughs> because it is a very common name and those kinds of places you are everywhere. You send him any, any, uh, any fucking, like, more pictures of it, he'll Mike Love that shit. I did, uh, you mean Ringo Starr. Yes, you're right. What did Mike Love do? Uh, Mike Love was, like, the guy who, uh, single-handedly, like, crushed the, the Smile album that music critics think would have been, like, the next Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, like, revolutionary in rock at the time, oh, if it had wow. come out. That was... And along with him, and apparently just generally being an asshole in other ways. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had heard that he, uh, he sued one of the other Beach Boys for, uh, touring as Name and the Beach Boys, and then went on to, after said lawsuit, tour as the Beach Boys with just him and three other dudes. Yep, Mike Love's kind of an asshole. That is what I have heard. But yeah, Ringo Starr it. Is Ringo Starr an asshole? For I mean, it, fan mail, or is he just not the kind of person who likes sick of fan mail, I guess. Alternatively, he would not read it and just not tell people that he's not reading it. So it, it could be argued that he's being nice by telling them that he won't read it. Listen, it's not that I don't appreciate the fan mail, it's just I'm tired of it. it, it just, I don't have the time. I can't do Ringo. Don't have the time. Ringo, yes, I am aware of Ringo Starr's MS Paint art. Ringo, you're making Ringo Starr sound like Mike Plankton. Mike Plankton? Or sorry, Carl Plankton, sorry. Pilkington? Yeah, him. Carl Pilkington. He, did, he discovered MS Paint and, and drew some things in it and decided to try to sell those things. <laughs> hey, is is that story. Hey, you want some of this? I, I'm selling it at a good price. How, how much do you sell it for? Oh, I don't know. I doubt it's sold. I know, I, 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 I'm not asking if it's sold, I'm asking how much did he, I, I don't did he know. was the price. <laughs> oh, hello, ghost. You're in a Smash Brothers level. Yes. You Except are. for some reason you're in a bright sunny area and not in a ghost house. He, he, he got rid of his depression. It's, it's a heartwarming story. I decided story. this environment really wasn't helping me. It wasn't helping me. I needed to get out in the sun. It wasn't helping me with my problems. Just me. 
So I wonder if the Super NES is actually rendering some kind of, like, stretch effect, and that's not just individual sprites. Hi, you thought you got me there. Oh, uh, maybe? You, you think you think it's the, the, mode, the mode of the 7? I, I don't think it's mode 7, but... Some kind of graphics effect. Some mode kind of... 7 is a is a 2D image laid so it looks 3D. That's yeah, what Mode I, 7 I know, is. I know that. I, I, I'm i wondering if they if it's the same kind of... Because... I don't know what Modes also... 1 through 6 are. Maybe it's one of those. It's... This is Mode 3.5. It's not used very often. <laughs> Yeah, then, then if they did the uh, uh, the SNES uh, uh, disk drive add-on, then uh, uh oh, damn it, then they would have gotten uh, mode eleven. Yeah. leave off here. I mean, I know we're almost done, but we get we can always just start this again. We're fine. Come on. Come on, you little Yosh! Why are we... My question is this. Why are we heading to Bowser to, just to rescue Luigi? Just to rescue Luigi. Fuck Luigi. Well, I mean... I gotta get my bro back. He's my bro. I love him. I'm just a baby. I think. I think. He's a baby. It's okay. We, well, without Luigi, Mario's gonna end up dead broke. Amic told him that part of the prophecy. This kid is gonna cause trouble for the Koopas, but he'll still be poor as shit. This His brother, is... however... He's the he's the breadwinner. Aw, oh, man! He'll get a mansion. It's like once somebody tells Mario, Uh, you'll, you will be a great... You, you will be a great hero, and you will save the princess, and you will defeat the monster, and... And then Luigi's like, ah, but what about me? You'll get a really nice mansion. Ah, sweet! And also a princess. I think. Oh, I got circle bats. Get a really sweet mansion. It's haunted, mind you. I remember Haunted Mansion being a pretty decent movie. I enjoyed it. I haven't seen that. I should. There was a, a movie called uh, Ghost Fever, right? Yeah. And it was done after... And, uh... No, was, I watched a, a review of it, right? And uh, it was done after the guy, uh, Cinema Snob, did an episode on uh, a, a movie called... Uh, what was it called? Uh, some kind of melodrama. Yeah. I, I forget what it was called, but... Uh, it, had, it had a scene famously of, uh, of a... Of a woman, like, causing a gas leak in her own house and lighting a match. Uh, and I didn't know this at the time, because I didn't watch that episode. But, I did watch the follow-up, and he's like, Yeah, we're gonna watch Ghost Fever, let's take a look at a clip, and it showed that scene of her just... And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah? It was a joke, obviously, but, uh, I was just thinking, like, is this, is this gonna be... <laughs> but no, the movie ended up being something like a comedy. Yeah. Where, apparently, what was it, like, the plot of the movie is that a, a dude who owned uh, a house uh, uh, died, and he was a slave owner, and so his, uh, his, like, the house servant, uh, is, like, owns him because he's been there, he's been dead longer? Okay. So they're like, hey, we gotta scare these people off. And, uh, it was like a detective and his partner or something. Oh, okay. Uh, your Jordan Peele's doing another movie. Us. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> it looks it looks crazier than Get Out. Yeah. Have you seen the trailer for that? I think I did. I saw it on like YouTube or something. The slug has no weak points. <laughs> There's one thing Jordan Peele's good at. It's getting me to watch his movies. He's good at get doing trailers. 
He's no got no weak weaknesses. points. Oh, uh, fuck. All right, this fire. would be the boss of this world. He can't hurt you. He can only push you and bump you. Oh, it hey. doesn't even destroy your eggs. Very interesting, boss. I, this one stuck with me the most. I remember this the most from this game as a kid. Thank you. Yeah, this boss was a very, was a very fun boss when I played it. It was just. Uh, Kamek, sir, you think you made me a little big hair? He's just trying to move through the hall, and he can't. <laughs> he would have been invincible if they made him smaller. Ghost Dad is going to be remembered as a very different movie now. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it was already considered a bad on. movie, wasn't it? I had never seen it. I, I, I avoided it because it seemed like it was... I don't hear positive things about it. Alright. I'm not saying this because of the stuff that came out. I was never really a fan of Bill Cosby. Yeah. I, I weird because I, cause I really love uh, Dave Ch I really love Dave Chappelle, and I'm like, well, they're both they're both like really good comedians. What's going on here? And then, I mean, Cosby I doesn't make didn't make a lot of jokes about being black specifically, whereas David Chappelle, that's most of his shtick. I just liked him because he had funny delivery and yeah. he was he, he he had energy. You're riding gum. Game over. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. that's that's it for Yoshi today. We'll finish this next time. I we hopefully, yeah. I think if we put enough time aside for it, we can get the rest of five and uh, also World Six done. Yeah, and then and then we'll do one more stream to take on the bonus levels. Yeah, that that'll be a stream. Those the extra ones get hard. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.